What's up? Hey, buddy. I haven't got my camera on for a sec, but I will do it shortly. Not a problem. I'm just trying to figure out how he can get juice into his phone. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. <coughs> hey, what's up? Not too much, too much. Yep, yeah, <laughs> Is my cam coming through then? What's there? Your cam. Is this, can you see him? Um, no, I can see split across. Yeah, it comes up with the split broadcasting. How's that? Are you set now? You set now? Yeah, will be. <laughs> Well, I see my picture, and that's about it. Well, I, I see it says split broadcast, and that's all it says on my end. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. Just a second here. I don't know why. It says to enable virtual camera output, start X split broadcast. I already did, so I don't know why it's acting like i didn't just a second here let me see if i can find it see what it's doing it's being kind of a jerk for some reason yeah just open up again come on i just close it and reopen it i may have to reset it so just a sec here oh. it should come up in a sec I've had to do this before do 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 come on flower three one and blink there Oh, there you go. You're there. there. Okay. Now, is that going to go to the Hangouts? So yeah, is everybody there? Um, have you um, called in Jericho? Yeah, I sent the same email to everybody. Okay, cool. I invited you, Jericho, and Devon. Might have to text them or something, message them. Yeah, all I can see is me for some reason. I go to the other one, and it's just Xplit's Hangout. And it says you left the call, so I'm not sure what it's doing there. Oh, no, hang on. I'll, I'm just getting myself sorted, and then... But you guys can see me. I can see you, yeah. But see, I haven't turned my camera on yet. I'm just taking my pills before I forget. Oh, I've been there. So I can't... Damn, Pregnazone and friggin' crap. Trying to see if I'm live streaming or not. Oh, uh, you're not live. Uh, right at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a thing where it says start broadcast. So don't hit that until we're all in. Oops. <laughs> oh, we're broadcasting already. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure I can find it because this thing is acting really stupid because I can't see anybody. I can see you. Yeah, it says, uh, it says we're live. I had a thing pop up my screen. Oh no! <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is me trying to work this new technology I haven't used before. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, this uh, what, yeah, I have to use my embedding software right? in conjunction yeah. with it, or it won't run the Hangouts even. Oh, and I go, I go well, to the broadcast page, and it's uh, I see you guys in the bottom right. And me. Oh, far up. <laughs> oh, I can't read comments, anybody. So, hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to find is how I read comments because I'm gonna have to go back uh, you to, have to page and see if it'll show me on there. Well, what I normally do is I normally open, um, just go on my phone and go to the live stream and just read them like that. It's easier because you can do it in a certain way, but it takes up more juice on your computer. Now let me see here. That's a good idea. So hang on, everybody. We're trying to figure out how to <laughs> how help for me to work this technology since my computer seems to want to jump through hoops. Yay! There I am. Okay, I can see it. I got a delay and a delay, but it works. If I can get rid of the sound. Yay. Hang on a second. We're having technical difficulty too. Hang on a second. Yep. What was hey, that? Buzz, what's up, man? And Pajerico, I sent you a link on your Let's email, man. Join. I'll try to send it again. 
Somehow, but Jericho didn't get the link. You know, I sent it. <laughs> okay, we'll back out of it and then come back in on the um, same invite you got. Well, uh, let me see. We well, must have. You came on. Just back to Jericho. I sent it to your email. Let me no, see no, if I can no, resend. You're on the screen. Hang with us, everybody. We're still trying to run a little technical difficulties here, trying to figure out why it did not send to Jericho. I got to go back to the email. Yeah, I got. This is this is uh, all the teething problems and all. We still haven't go. got to Jericho yet. Yeah, I sent it to him. He's on the on the uh, chat, but he didn't. Uh, he said he didn't get the link. Oh, you know, I sent it to him. I'm going to resend it to him right now. You get in trouble. Huh? You get in trouble. It's only the dip that varies for me. Okay. okay. See, we are so organized. Like, I'm not even organized yet. Yeah. It's all good. Nobody's looking for perfection. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> him, so that should be it. They've come to the wrong place for that for me. I sent it. Sent it to his invite. Uh, all right. Well, I sent the Pajericos again. So we will see if it shows up. No, it's the old one. What? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can come on here. Can everybody see me? Hi everybody, can't read comments, but how you doing? Huh. Let me see what we got here. I will call it up on this, because it's bigger. All right, I think I reset it to Jericho and I just messaged him, letting him know I sent it to him again. Oh. <laughs> so there, and there. There we go. All oh, right. Yeah. Hey, there. Now, now you're really clear. Oh, I don't know. How to do what do they don't know how to do? It's funny because I'll can be see. back. I'll go and um, see if I can help out. I can see you on my phone, but I can't see you on this screen. Well, that's weird. It seems to stick with just me. But um, welcome, everybody. We're kind of, I guess this is what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can actually do it on here. Uh, hey, okay. But, um, welcome, everybody. We're kind of, I guess this is what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can actually do it on here. All right, closing that down. All right. Well, Fuzz is here. Deadass Podcast is here. X, well, XX Whips is here. And that's who's here at the moment. Welcome, guys. Sorry about our technical difficulties. Trying to run across uh, three other, uh, two, uh, at least two to three countries here. Yes, I did mute YouTube, actually. I'm just uh, waiting to see if Jericho can make it on here. So I messaged him. All right, there's there's Devon. I don't know where he's at on here. I don't see him. There's okay. So so far it's just me and uh, abandoned New Zealand and dude behind the camera is here right now. So, uh, dude, did you have anything you guys wanted to start off with? You guys still there? <laughs> Gotta love technology. So far, it looks like I everybody disappeared but me. 
Trying to figure that out. Where did everybody else go? Let me see if I can find out where dude went. Because they were here. Sorry, everybody. So what happens you run across multiple countries and try to do this for the first time. All right. Well, it shows I'm still here. There's everybody else. Okay. Hey, you're back. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I thought I did something wrong. Can send, in, send him abandoned another uh, link. Yeah, I sent uh, he Jericho another link. He didn't get your last one. He didn't get it? Nah. He didn't get it at all. You want me to send it? I don't know how you came in the first time. Where did you go? Oh, no, oh I'm here. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm back. Okay. No, no, no. You sent me a message. Where did I go? <laughs> Wait. So you, you're you here. I'm here. Just us. Yeah, I sent it to Jericho again. I haven't seen him. And Devon hasn't showed up yet. So everybody's getting to watch us trying to figure out the uh, tech side of this. <laughs> Which it's a uh, teething problem. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> well, are you on we'll yours? Or are you on a man in New Zealand? Because I sent him one. I thought you guys were going to be together. I'm on mine. Well, that's strange. How I do I have? We can be. I just thought it'd be cool. Oh, here I'll, I'll resend it to him, but I just got to figure out why it's not sending to him in the first place. All right. Let's well, see it turns out he, with his new phone, he didn't have Hangouts downloaded. Oh. But he does now. Let's try it one more time. Enjoy this, everybody. Watch us try to. <laughs> just... We can read comments. On... Everyone's doing well. I should play the guessing game. I wonder who's here. Um, Fuzz, you should be here by now. Oh, yeah, Fuzz is here. Are you... Well, is this is Devon right here? Laughing his butt off. <laughs> yeah, bitch, he was. <laughs> Dad ass podcast is telling me to mute my my YouTube, which I did. Killer P Y S C O six six six. That's him. Van New Zealand invite. Yep. I reset his invite again, and I sent up to Jericho uh, oh. a second time. I'm not sure why he's not here, but I'll resend it to him again, too. You, you do, you're doing it in the screen where you yeah, I'm doing um, it here on first came in streaming, eh? Yeah, well, on the Hangout screen, yeah, says invite yeah, yeah. people. And that's cool. what I'm doing. Sweet. All good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Aha. Finally. Go. Okay, there's one more. <laughs> it wasn't working on my um on my uh, computer for some reason, so I like switched to my phone. Okay, so the links I am sending are yeah, good. Weird, it's just uh somehow a couple people aren't getting them. Huh? I, I need to switch my. I need to change my profile picture. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I make. Uh, I also do music, so that's why that's. Completely different than what you normally see. Uh, I don't know, but Jericho hasn't answered me back on Messenger either. Huh. He's probably trying to get in. Yeah. It shows <laughs> technical difficulties, I guess. It shows he saw it seven minutes ago. <laughs> I could just imagine what he sounds like screaming at the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, on Pajerico's uh kind of outtakes and animal attacks video he did, boy, his language is definitely a lot more a lot different than his normal videos. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, I don't know if you watch that with a sheep and scared him and everything. That is so good. Oh man, he's uh he definitely had to put a child warning on that video for his language. <laughs> yeah. Most of his I videos are so. Oh wait, here it is. 
<laughs> and Devon, Devon's been those his him and his guys have been working to clean their language up because YouTube's so crabby about it now. Yeah. Welcome everybody. Yeah. We're still trying. We got two more guys that'll be coming in. Urbex Pajerico and Abandoned New Zealand. Um, the links have been sent. I think they're having technical difficulties. And we'll see if one of them messengers me back if they're having a problem. Um, let me see. I can see who all is here. I just uh, tried changing my profile picture. Okay. See if you disappear now. Who knows? It takes a while to uh, load. See. All right, thanks, Dad. Dead ass podcast. Yeah, I'm gonna the dog. 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 Come back and check out. See, we got this thing fixed. <laughs> and Devon says he's switching yeah. to his phone. Mister Dave is here, dude. It's, yeah. yeah, sorry, Mister Dave. Um, only I can see the chat. Hi, right, Mister Dave. How you going, buddy? Nice okay. to see you. Well. I'm I can't see you, but nice, nice to see you. <laughs> There's got to be some way I can send the chat to everybody. <laughs> I can't see anybody. But I just hold it up. Uh, there's a new thing. You can put it on the screen, but I don't know how to do it. I'll figure it out. Uh, what is even going on? <laughs> <laughs> can't link to it. Oh, Jericho can't link to it. Really? Are you on your phone, Jericho? Or are you trying to do it on your laptop? Oh, and are you having trouble too? Okay, look. Take five, everybody. I'll be back oh. in a minute. Well, I invited him on the on the chat, so let me try again. Dude's going to see if he can fix the tech issue here. I'm going to go to the screen and invite Majerico again. Well, this is a nice way to start the stream. It is, isn't it, though? <laughs> well, hey, what you know... Come on, we're trying to jump between, you know, five people, three countries, three time zones, and try or four time zones because you're an hour different than me. Yeah. I mean, for the guy to the for abandoned New Zealand and dude, they're it's tomorrow afternoon there for them. And for Pajerico, it's like eleven o'clock at night at his place. So we're trying to jump through all these hoops. And I am it going is to, what it is, you know. I'm gonna call up Pajerico's email again and send it through this link. Again, because I'm sending it, and for some reason, he says it is not letting it, just letting him watch. That's weird. That's kind of what I said. That's kind of the problem I had last time, though. I couldn't use my computer. I had to go through my phone. And it was uh, really interesting, because I couldn't get it to let me on either. See, I don't know what's up with that. Because right now I'm using my phone and I'm not using my laptop. I'm only using my laptop to look at the stream on YouTube, but that's it. Yeah, I got the, the Hangout screen is up on my main computer. I'm using my phone for the chat. Because the phone yeah. is faster for the chat. Because if you go to your YouTube screen over here, I don't know how many people have done the Hangouts. If you go to your YouTube screen over there, there's a, there's a lag. But if you do it on your phone, there's not as much lag. <laughs> so I that's the it. opposite for me. I invited Pajerico again on here, so this should be sending him the link to hop on. It says invite people. Which is funny, it says I'm the only one here, even though Pajerico is, our uh, dude is on here. No, I'm not sure it even knows which one is which. Uh huh. This is the one that's live right here. So let's try it this way. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make a workaround. I don't know a lot about computers, but I know enough to get myself in trouble and out of trouble half the time. So I'm <laughs> trying something. My brother showed me here. Is it that uh, he just can't connect, or what's up? He says it takes him to watch and won't let him get on as um, somebody can take part. So I try. I'm gonna try reset this. Sorry. That's so weird. There, let's try that. Well, let me invite. Why? Is he already invited? Maybe uh, kick him out of the chat and then re-add him. 
I don't know. I, I just tried to send it, and it won't even let me send. Oh. Oh, let me try this. Ha! There. That might work. <laughs> what you do? I reset. Well, I kind of reset part of Hangouts, a part of my embedding software, and kind of, I tried to do it without hanging up on everybody, and you're still here, so I didn't hang up on everybody. <laughs> so I resent, and we'll see if it shows up now. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you got it, and I sent it to you the same way. Yeah. I mean, it says that he's in the conversation. Just don't know what's up on his part. Yeah, I'm going to try resending to Zeke. Which Zeke's spelling of his email is a little weird, so it messes me up because I want to spell it the right way. Uh, you are... uh, Explore NC just joined. What? Explore NC joined a live stream. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, okay, some people are getting it, right? We got uh, eight people watching right now. Oh, that's good. So everybody can enjoy this and watch us try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> right. All right, dude. Uh, I, I did a reset on some of this, and I resent to everybody. I, I, there's one way around it, and that is to when you go into the, the link you're sending people, copy that, like right, um, copy it and paste it, and send it to both of them into Messenger, and they can just click the link and come here. Okay. Because Hangouts is not working for them. Huh. But they can hmm. still use the link. All right, let me so see, you can if can... see if I can get that to copy over. Prajerko yep, just said uh, he needs exploit. Yeah, let's see. I don't have exploit at all, but neither. Yeah, you guys don't have exploit, and you're on here just fine. I have exploit, but I don't. Yep. I'm not. Oh, using you it. do. But but dude doesn't. I, I, I'm doing. No, I don't. Okay. I don't need it. Well, that is weird as crap. Let me see here. Yep. Let's do it this way. Because the other thing you can do is drop the link into it into the chat, which you don't want to do, but I have done in the past, and you can link through that too. Yeah. I'll just do but it. Then. You don't want to do that these days. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the control, I yeah. last night. <laughs> there, I just sent yeah. it. <laughs> I just sent it to him again. I sent it on Messenger. And I can do yeah, this. That, that should work fine. I find Isaac again on my messenger. I haven't sent to him in a while. And, uh, and I'll send that to him. And boy, this is really complicated across here. <laughs> well, this is the last this is the last effort. So yeah. And paste. Paste. There, I sent it to both of them actually right through Messenger now. Hmm. So I am going to go back. Now I can take this and go to the chat. Uh, <laughs> and see if everybody's done. Lift us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Explore NC. We're not ignoring you, man. We're a little technical issue here. And I am now actually looking on the chat and I can see everybody. Urbex, yeah, but Jericho says it says he needs X split, but I don't uh I don't understand why he needs XSplit when you two are on here without running XSplit. It seems a little strange why it's telling him to run XSplit. Huh. I just turned, my, when it said that, I just turned my camera on and here I was. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what he should just do, just turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to Devon. I sent it to uh. I sent oh hey! Link. Hey there! He joined. He, is. he joined. There he is. Yes. Oh, here we go. Link to everybody. Yay! Woo! Yes. One more. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now we need a Zeke to get on here. We're good. <laughs> Explorer NC said he doesn't remember last night. You don't remember my live stream last night? <laughs> wow. 
You're on a long time, man. All right. Hey, Jericho. The, wink, the winky face uh, is suspicious. The what? The winky emoji that uh, NC said is suspicious. Oh, yeah. You uh, guys see me or hear me? Yay! <laughs> hey, yeah. okay. There we go. Bloody hell, what time you try to keep me up to the night? <laughs> <laughs> dude, everybody else, I sent the link to everybody, and <laughs> dude and uh, Devon got right on. But somehow you and uh, uh, Zeke are having problems with it. I mean, I was having problems on my uh, on my laptop because when I was trying to connect, it was saying, please wait. It was just taking a long while to connect, and I was like, you know what? Let me just switch to my phone. I'm, I like have no time for this. That's what I did last time. It wouldn't connect properly, so I just went to my phone and put my headphones in last time. Boom, exactly. And you, you just got my camera. Is it working, yeah? Um, uh, no. Nope. No, just your icon. I don't have my camera on. No, all I see is the word Devon and then his risk of the uprising is there. Me and yes. dude have our cameras yep, working, you know. I only got half a dude's head. <laughs> half a dude's head? <laughs> well, that's what I see here. It's like his head comes in and out. <laughs> I'm talking about the sentence as it, as it is. Whoa. <laughs> oh. By the time, time we get to something running, everybody else will be in bed. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, well, n now that we're all here, I'll, I'll, I'll have to go. See you later. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> 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 that would be messed up. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll go and, let, let, now, hey, there we go. I'll go and see if it's hey. hey, you're up. Speak out. Good oh, is evening, he here? Oh, there finally. we go. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, that was a, uh, I will not tell you where my brain was going just there. Okay, look. You now we got everything working. And, How um, many times did you get the link sorry. I sent you, Patrico? I only got it one time, just the one time. But uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't connect with my phone. I couldn't connect with Hi, my my Hi. laptop either. It wasn't until you gave me a messenger. I won't connect at all. Hey. Good evening, Good evening. Isaac. How's everyone doing? Good evening. That is so weird because a couple of us had no problems connecting and others did. I'm the Which only language? person Patience not on cam. <laughs> That's okay. You're not that pretty anyway. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm not saying I, I am. Mean, Unfortunately, my camera seems to be working. So that is everybody's here then? Yes. Yep. Cool. <laughs> right. I'm going to share the link. Yeah, dude and Zeke are uh, kind of sharing one cam because Zeke couldn't get his, his to connect. I can oh, see they... it's a pretty bad. Um, someone uh, your voice cuts out sometimes. Um, finally. Uh oh. Probably because I'm too close to my microphone or something, or I got it too low. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, share the link to the stream. How did you do it? Uh, it was it was a uh, once I was sent the the link on Messenger. I was able to connect through Messenger okay. on the Hangouts. Yeah. I did that, and it takes you to um Hangouts, and then it takes you to the library on. Which yeah, so the, uh, but it doesn't connect. All these different companies and different software, and that I think is probably the problem. Yeah, because right. last time when I think Dude was uh, hosting. My computer wouldn't connect, and I had to use my phone to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. I'm still trying to do some. <laughs> Sorry, man. When you go, you might hit me. I'm trying to set it up. Set it up. It's on live stream. With the live stream. No. <laughs> Say, still snowing, Mikari? Is it snowing? No, it's almost. Uh, it kind of was like this morning, but not like a lot. It, was, it looked like it was raining, to be honest. I know, uh, out east here in America, they're having a monster snowstorm in like New York City or something. Oh, I didn't get anything yet. <laughs> I've passed you, dude. Oh, 
it's clear out on the East Coast. They're looking at almost two feet of snow, uh, which they can keep. Your voice is tight. It's pretty hard to hear. The voice is like really cutting out. Mine is? Huh. Yeah. It's not cutting off for me. It's really laggy for me. Is my voice cutting out for you, Pajerico? No, I can hear everybody fine, but uh, my computer is running extremely slow. It's like I can't get sharing this link to anybody to bring viewers in and stuff. It's all a bit hectic. It's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, we're done. Okay, I'm going to get my phone. I think it's working. Yeah. All good. But yeah, um, all right. So what do you guys want to talk about since we are all actually here for once? Um, you know, <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with abandoned New Zealand. Oh, oh, I'm no. back. Oh, he must have been over getting Zeke's to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One webcam to the next, right? Or, or NC says my voice sounds really yeah, clear. Yeah, that works better than that. <laughs> If my oh, mic doesn't want to go there. Here it is. I can hear you better on my phone. Yeah, I can hear you better now. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to put my mic yeah, in. My... Um, Devon! That's not what we're talking about. Oh, that's crap. Oh, oh, go away for two. Oh, what the? <laughs> hey, there I am. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to get my mic in there. I can't get my mic in. Okay. Uh... All right, I think I'm set. We're all here now. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. That only took a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the Jericho said, here, all these different pieces of equipment, different company, countries, different protocols in different countries, and we're trying to make it all linked together. Yeah, I'm, well, I think like I'm I good said, to go. working now. <laughs> see, see. Uh, well, officially, there. officially welcome, everybody. This is... Our little Hangouts live stream with me exploring the CF. We got a band in New Zealand, dude behind the camera, uh, right. Devon from Among the Unknown, Urbex Pajerico, and we're all here to see if we can try to talk about something to do with Urban Explorer. <laughs> we're done we're getting our cameras to work. So, um, mm. all right. So, I know Duden. Uh, Isaac don't have this problem, but for the other the rest of us here, winter has been a pain in the butt. Yeah. I can't wait till it's over. Uh, immediately. <laughs> that's why. Uh, uh, that's that's why it's been a while for a uh, great hello phone. That's <laughs> why it's been a while for uh, us to get out and uh, explore some places. <laughs> well, I went out last week at the uh, first place I ever explored for YouTube, and we did some footage in there, and ended up having to hide in the closet because some scrappers came in there. <laughs> Is this uh, what you talked about um, yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if it's, hey, it's, shut up. It wouldn't bother me so much, but it was just me, and there was at least two of them, and uh, scrappers. Are yeah, little, two against one. <laughs> so I kind of backed away and hid there, and. Kind of audio taped them messing around. Uh, what is? Did you already have that problem here? Did you see one? I'm trying to log into YouTube so I can see the chat. Okay. I'm not guys trying to log into YouTube. Um, well, let's see here. What are your guys' uh, mm-hmm. favorite explorer that you did? Oh, my favorite explorers. So after you guys, my favorite explorers. Let's see what's on um, the coal mine. Yeah, the hey, coal mine was amazing when I did the coal mine. I think the start of the end, February or January. That was amazing. We wanted mm-hmm. to do that for months, and I finally got to go there and do it. That was seriously cool. Just seeing how it was way back in the day and, and having to climb over things. I uh, gotcha. And now I can watch. When we we're, were in the mines like trying to climb over things part of it was falling down still and i kind of realized that i still had like a real big fear of heights so kind of like seems to have brought back my fear of heights to the side of that mine now i can see but okay now me you've had a real good year so far zeke i mean you're really you've stepped it up a lot from what you did the last year yeah 
I've gone from little houses to kind of something a bit bigger. We've got um, some big mines we'll be doing soon, and like May, I think. And hopefully we're hoping to get to South Island later in the year, which would be like really nice. cool. Yeah. Kind of like, let's try to do something a bit different to last year. So I've got a few extra people sending me messages on Instagram and Facebook trying to tell me of new places to go to, so it kind of helps. I've noticed it's been a lot easier. Cool. But now my yeah, I think them, so. uh, we have a mine as well. I like the little house and stuff though. I still kind of miss just those little explorers. So they're still fun. So oh, a lot of fun. <laughs> I've got uh, three or four abandoned houses I did on my way back from uh, down the bottom of Missouri going to that uh, water abandoned water park. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll, cool. I'll explore anything I see, and along the road, if you can run into something, that's even better. Right. Yeah. It's like on our, on our East Cape trip, we, we don't mean do that no longer. There's so many places we need to go past. We missed out on so many places. So I'd love to go back and redo it. There's just so much we missed out on. Yeah. Well, dude, when's your next uh, vid coming out? <laughs> Christmas will come next, probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, I, I have no idea, man. I'm, I'm, I have something in the works that just hasn't been pulled off yet. Are you going to go Watch back to the space. interviews? Or are you going to go exploring? Or what type of video are you thinking about doing? I'm pretty sure the interview thing kind of got saturated all of a sudden, didn't it? It's quite interesting, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I'm probably going to just do bits and pieces. I'm more helping out um, Isaac at the moment. I'm enjoying that like I used to do before I had a channel, so kind of doing a bit of that. But there is a no, thing I've been wrong. working on for a while where I'm going to do something to the rear end of a car. So it'll be kind of a, a build series. Well, that's cool. I guess that's all I can say. Yeah. Explore NC. Says, yeah, but he does love the big places where the people explore. The big, the big explorers. He loves those the best. Yeah, I do with the big places. I, I never know because I'm um, so worried about time limits. I don't know whether to do long videos or short videos, and I kind of like. Um, okay. That's one thing that always gets me when I do a big video. I don't know whether to make one big decent video or, or like I usually do, like a few parts, and something I don't really get any feedback on ever from people watching. And when I, if I asked, kind of like I think last time I asked about the the boarding school, mm -hmm. I think I did that like in two parts. So it was still really, really, really long. It's like anything that always bugs me up is I don't know if I should do longer videos or short videos or what people want. I do the parts. Like the limit. Yeah. The the YouTube watch mm -hmm. time the, the time <clears throat> you watch is so short. If you do a really long video, they would still kind of watch the same amount of time. Yeah. If you do multiple videos, I, they get to see more of it. Yeah, yeah, I think like um, the thing I did, I did the uh, mines. I think I did. I think I kind of dragged it out too much. I think I did like five or six parts. I think by the end of it, people were just kind of over it. Yeah, yeah but that was one of your of... first really, really big explorers. So that was a new. Yeah. Thing. Having that much video makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, and I cut out a lot of video. I cut out, I cut out a lot of footage too. Mm -hmm. But um, even like the the one I gave you for the exploring, the initial one, I'm so in trouble putting the second part together it won't loan to my editor for some reason even though it's the same format the same camera and everything having like a lot of trouble trying to load that in and that place was huge we only got into two buildings but that place was so, that place was really big yeah it was pretty fun well devon just did a, did a couple of good explorers here in the last couple of weeks and put them out yeah Couple of, one yeah, of them, uh, he had to leave. <laughs> the apartment building, yeah. yeah. And, uh, what is it's our case. <laughs> why, why is my profile picture? <laughs> you. Jericho hasn't let the snow stop him at all this year. You know, he's freezing his feet off, but he's been out, I think, more than any of us in the wintertime. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen him with his on me, gloves on. <laughs> See, all wrapped up in gloves and stuff. I think it must yeah. be pretty cold there. Yeah, well, it's definitely, definitely cold, right enough. But uh, it's either get out or 
or feel like a, a trapped animal in a cage sitting in the house. I don't do well <laughs> sitting in the house. <laughs> so the way they kind of add the code thing to the video, they like sing the snow and stuff, and it's kind of it makes it exciting. Does it? Does it? It's very, it gives you a really nice uh, kind of scenic look, you know, when you're out and about in the snow. Yeah. It's lovely. But it's damn cold. It's very much like the scenery in Scotland. It's very much like, it looks a lot like outside the ferns and stuff here. It it's does. Very to what yeah, green. I find that way a lot of your videos that it's, it's very like uh, going out in the Scottish Highlands, you know, over in New Zealand. Yeah. It's very similar. I totally agree with you there. Well, until you throw the snow on yours, then you don't look like a Zealand <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see how I <laughs> Maybe we go south of the snow. Yeah, lots of it. Yeah. I got a question. <laughs> yeah. Um, how many places have you explored where recently it just got demolished? Huh. None. The only None. one that was destroyed was oh. the one in the the one that got burned a long, a long time ago. That's yeah. the only one that had any kind of damage to it. But everything else that I've explored is still intact, more or less the same way it was when I was there. Uh, most of ours get demoed real fast in New Zealand, so pretty much like um the Navy Bergs are gone. Um, there's an old barn and a little farm sitting I did, that's all gone. Um, there's quite mm. a few that have gone since I last since I did them. So I kind of like jump under a fence and just quickly go do them before they actually, before there's nothing left to film. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, they kind of they love pulling things down and especially now, city. Yeah, so they can build like new apartments and stuff. If you count the the Silver Dome in Detroit, which I didn't get into, but I did fly the drone over it. If you count that one, four I've been to that have been de demoed in the last probably about year, year and a half. Yeah, I've been to four as well. Yeah. Like I've said in uh, the comments on your live streams, uh, CF, I've been uh, Lincoln Ways demolished. LG, LGAR nursing homes demolished, uh, the glassing house demolished, and the house in white. Wow. It's amazing how fast they come now down. I would eh? love to explore the nursing home with you, um, CF. Oh, that'd be great. That place is it's creepy, but the more people are starting to get in there now than when I was there. There's starting to be more damage. And now the scrappers, like I ran into the other day, the scrappers are getting in there. And those guys are kind of dangerous. You got to watch your butt around them, but I don't know how long it's going to be viable. I also, I think I heard um, the city and the company that are battling not to own that building, that the court battle might be over soon. So if the city gets it, they're going to demolish it real quick. I was talking about the nursing home that I went to. Wait, what oh, are you, you talking about? You went to? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 what are you talking about? Now, when you miss, when you miss, when you get in, do an explore and it gets knocked down, don't you kind of feel like you got – that you're really glad you got here, got kind of a bonus because now nobody can. It's, yeah, you know, you saved something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That that's why it's like yeah. us being uh, urban explorers. It's like we're journal journalists, you know, and we're going to these yeah. places, we're recording, and we're saving up memories, memories that are that were once like lost, and we're creating new memories for other people to watch and see what history, you know. Yeah. And for yeah. it to be like all gone, it's like, wow, we just saved a piece of history before it's all gone, you know? Yeah, well, that's, you that's, to, you're absolutely right, YouTube because... Now we're saving it and putting it on YouTube, it'll never be lost. Well, that's yeah, it, exactly. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, some people might not be able to experience these places for themselves, but at least they've got that video reference and a walk through explore yeah. for a new real time to still look back on and appreciate what these places used to be at one time, you know? Exactly. exactly. I like how a lot of people put the original pictures of the buildings into your videos, so I, I don't do that myself. Mm -hmm. I think it's when um, I've seen a lot of you do it, and it's like really cool like seeing what it used to look like before then you see like, the ruins of it or something. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. I tried to look for pictures mm -hmm. online, and I actually can't find anything that I can actually use. Like the mine, I, I wanted to put the original picture up of the mines I did. There was like nothing I could find about it. I could find out where it was, so yeah. I could find any pictures. At all. Is well, that, that, that the one they we done the climbing IZ? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that That's was some place that's amazing. Uh, Explore NC says he's had three of his explorers been demolished recently. 
Uh, and he said also time is always an issue for him when he's considering where to go to do his explorers next. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. And, uh, last year I had a problem of um, wanting to save things. Okay, okay. Last, year, last year I thought, oh, I'll, I'll save it when I'm desperate, I'll go back to it. And then when I went back to it, it's demoed. So this year, I've kind of, if I see something, I'm jumping in to do it. I'm trying to, I'm not mucking around like I did last year. Because last year I missed out so, so many places just by trying to save them for later. Uh, yeah. I, kind of, I drove yeah. Yeah. Say opportunist. Yeah. So this year I'm trying to like just if I see something I can explore it for more, but it's, it's yeah. all I can. It's kind of sad when you, you go back to do it, it's gone. I put off going up to see the Silver Dome by one week, and that one week cost me actually getting into it. So I only had to I could only fly the drone over it. Yeah, the drone was amazing though. Mm. You do it, you get like I love your drone footage. Thanks. I I well. That's not all good. That's why I posted some of the, the bad place times I was having <laughs> in the hospital there because the the DJI just wow, didn't wow holy the software update sucked. So it just crashed a bunch. Yeah, that reminds me. Um because I was telling uh, uh CF earlier, but there's this uh, school that I wanted to go back to. It was uh Miles Bryan uh, school and um I think just yesterday night, it recently caught on fire. And over the weekend, I was me and um, me and someone that my mom knows, we were uh, trying to go into that school, but they had all the doors locked. <clears throat> uh, the last time the door was open, now everything's locked up and they're uh, starting to renovate the school. And to know that the school like just caught on fire like yesterday night, it's like, wow. like what the heck just happened, you know? It's like we were mm -hmm. just right. trying to go to that school, and now it's somehow caught on fire. Like, <coughs> I'm I'm lucky that I didn't go to that school, and someone started the fire while I was inside. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel about some places. When you go, Angie. There's something about some places where um, they're about to get demoed and uh, I'm kind of like filming inside. I'm like, oh crap, I hope they don't start demo demoing this place while I'm inside. So yeah. it wouldn't go down well. Yeah, no, it's kind of like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like just trying to get in there and get out. I'm just it's sorry. also uh, sad when uh, the school is getting, well, got even more popularity when uh, there was a body found on the third floor last year. Actually, no, two uh, years ago. Okay. So. People, people think that it was uh, because of like an overdose. Oh, right. Uh, well, unfortunately, a lot of these uh, places we visit, kind of, uh, you know, there's a good kind of hidey kind of place for people that, you know, abuse substances and what have you as well. So a lot of that's part and partial with the, the territory. But it's uh, yeah. just unfortunate that it comes to that that kind of end for somebody as well, though, and rather than getting some kind of help, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say about the you mentioned about you're lucky you didn't go to the school uh, when it was uh, set on <coughs> fire. We had the kind of same thought when we done the place that that did actually get burned to uh, Avondale. When we were there, that place was well barricaded up. So the point that we entered the building was the only point of entry. So when we were up the other far end of the house, all the windows were still shuttered. I mean, if somebody had set a fire when we were in there, it would have been virtually impossible yeah, for us to, yeah. to make our way out. You couldn't have kicked a window or anything like that, you know? So I, there is a lot of risks in going in these places. Wow. wow. It's definitely the risk of it in there. Oh, aye. Definitely. It's like, so I, it's, I think like in my whole time, the whole time I think I've been doing this for almost a year in June, I think I've only ever run into one other group of explorers like, this whole time. I've never ever seen anybody else in anywhere I've been to. I've mm. been, um, the only place was Pigeon Hotel, and that was really, really sketchy. Like, the floors are rotten as. And as we walked in, there was another group walking out. That's the only time I've ever seen anybody else, like, exploring. Aye. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of real rare to see people here. You just made me think you see if they're hiding in cupboards. Yeah. yeah. Didn't, like didn't, see, didn't, didn't, didn't see anybody, but he heard them. 
I'm surprised though, because we've got a lot of homeless people like and our homeless people are and all that nice. So I'm surprised there's not like a lot of homeless people in these buildings I go to. It's like yeah. keeping out some very tasty down the shitty. I've I've only come across one homeless person while exploring it. That was it. But it was on um this abandoned uh street that yeah. had like a bunch of tents everywhere on the oh, on sure. the uh, abandoned street. And uh I don't feel like describing the whole entire story about it, but just say if you want to like see the video and like the, like read the story, uh, you can go look at my Hobo Jungle video that I did with uh, my um, the filmer of the Among the Unknown. I'll certainly check that out. Um, it's like it's a long video though. As the last person he ran into in a building, a homeless man. <laughs> <clears throat> sweeping the glass around in an asylum. <laughs> it's random. Oh, thing. wow. <laughs> that's well, that's kind of random. Yeah, it is. Shit, we're old. Hey, Devon, Explore mm -hmm. NC thinks that probably a crackhead's pipe got too hot in the school to burn down where you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here's a, here's a uh, thing. There, there's only, I think, for what I've seen, one way into the school, and it is the most difficult way into it, because every single perim perimeter of the school is locked up, um, but the front doors are chained, but there's, like, here's the doors, and then right above it is, uh, like, a little opening that I guess used to be, like, glass. That is all uh, gone. Uh, so basically what you have to do is if you're like tall enough climb up and try to like boost your way or get a ladder but the but the um, other part is how are you going to get that ladder inside the school you know yeah. but um, I, I actually want to know how that fire even started mm -hmm. I don't think um, there's what's that what's the what's the what's the sorry so that's how Wait, I found him on my likes and <laughs> When I did my last boarding school with them, um, the, the, latest, the latest one I put on my channel, the, all, it was all boarded up apart from the, the top story windows. So one of the guys actually had to like climb in the top window and then open the door first, so I could actually walk in. Yeah, it was oh. pretty much all open up top, just not down bottom. It's like, yeah, it kind of rich. That was a really was good one. Cool. That have was huge. That. I can't believe how big it was. Like once you go into that old villa house, it just opened. It's like just opened up everything. That's like holy crap! Mm -hmm. I was, did not expect that. And and you learned what was... an arm wrestling table was. Yeah, I didn't know. What, I thought it was like one of those old air things that you like <laughs> you swing around on something. <laughs> I was like, they must have got a really, really old school air machine. <laughs> I'm one of them. Sorry. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah. I'll say one thing for Pajero, but, one thing you probably don't have to put up with quite as much as the rest of us, because a lot of the buildings you filmed have been there for a thousand years, they'll probably be there for another yeah, thousand. Yeah. Ours, ours, true, we don't worry about them getting knocked down real quick, so we got to get in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very true. The, the only problem we get, kind of, uh, well, I find myself, is some places I've noticed, you know, other people have explored them, but by the time I get round to them, they're completely sealed up because they're so rotten inside now, it's you know, it's highly dangerous to even really go in the building at all. But uh, yeah. that's that's the only downside. But on occasions like that, I'll still film the outside of the building because you always get some, you know, nice, good architecture and, you know, just maybe some other features scattered around, like stables or that kind of thing. So, there's a yeah, couple, there is. There's a couple of yours I wish you had a drone because, like, the roof and the floors are caved in, but it's too dangerous to really go in too much. Right. Yeah. A drone, you could fly down in that and really get some amazing shots. Mm -hmm. Um, no. like the like a couple of them you've had the floors are collapsed and there's still um second and third floor fireplaces still sitting there hanging in the middle of nothingness. Yeah, yeah. There, well, there's a drone just up there behind me, but uh, I'd need to familiarise myself with using one of them because I've never used one before. So I tried once and it was crashed. Like it's a real cheap <laughs> one. I think the wind just picked it up and blew it away. Yeah. Oh crap. Well, Ken, Ken and Marlock, I'd get to take off and never see you again. 
They don't seem that easy to choose. Like, you know. Bex, he just joined the stream and he's watching us. Oh, our Bex is in. Good evening, yeah. our Bex. He's always on the right can I just say, guys, I've had to close down the, the YouTube window. I'm using the, the messenger to keep on here because my computer's heavily lagging, so I can't watch the chat to see what, if it, anybody's right. commenting about you. So I'm just trying to stream things down. Yeah, I'm using a dude's computer to reach out. Yeah, I'm using a dude's computer to reach out. quietly do. I can see in the, in the screen there. I was just see thinking that. That's not like you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, who's got, what, what, uh, big plans does anybody have for the year? I mean, do you have any really big places you really want to get into for the year or just kind of generally get out there and see tons of things? Uh, I kind of, I kind of wing it. Uh, <laughs> for me, um, I have, I've said this to you before. I have, um, a hospital, uh, a, a huge train station <laughs> slash, um, office building. Another another uh, nursing home, <clears throat> and I have a cement factory that is like slightly demolished, but the leftovers are still like great to see. It's still worth the trip. Uh, that's the main um, uh, focus and goals for this year, and hopefully I'm gonna get them done either uh, on the last week of March or this summer. Ooh. That's cool. Plenty to keep busy. After you. All right, go ahead, Pajerico. Oh, sorry, I've seen a uh, plenty to keep them busy then. So, if you get a name, is it, is it, what, sorry, what's your name again? Is it Devon. Devon? Devon. Devon, right. Yeah, I've just seen you've got plenty to keep you going then, Devon, for the next good while then. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. have, um, I have a list of locations still. Because, mm -hmm. uh, if you notice on my channel, we kind of go by like, it's like a TV show. So we kind of go by uh, seasons and episodes. I have enough locations for at least two more seasons. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. Cool. Well, you're in that's the middle of a big city, though. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <clears throat> hey, all the hospitals we have here that I wanted to do, they're already pulled down. And the Kingsley one that I keep trying to do, that's filling it up with tenants. But I did get a video the other day and show me how to get inside it. So. There's one empty building left, so I might try and have to try that one. But um, the hospital I wanted to do, it's, you, nobody's ever allowed there. Like, not even that, I mean, nobody's allowed to take pictures or anything like that. You can do, you can drone it, but that's about it. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot with, of places here, like, um, you yeah. just have to wing it because we don't have any sites telling us about places. Or um, if we go to South Island, there's lots of mining towns that we can do. It's just all the, right. you know, over there and things like that. So that'd be fun. The dude, the dude does most of the big research for us, so I'm, I'm really bad at researching. I kind of <laughs> do it for two hours and get annoyed and stop, stop doing it and go play a game. So, yeah, we'll go the best part, man. Because our sites are so like our sites are from 2008. Ooh. Now, Devon, I know you got a crew. Mm -hmm. You usually explore with. Now, yeah. Pajerico and our, 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 uh, Isaac, are you planning any collaborations this coming year? Because I know I'm planning at least. <coughs> hey, um, I've got. Go ahead. <laughs> I'd love to go with you guys. Um, lately, I've just been exploring with um, Carl. He's got a Facebook page, but he's kind of like, with his job, he finds a lot of, a lot of the big places I've been to. So I've been quite lucky that he's taken me along to a lot of them, like the big, um, the big church complex flex and stuff went to in the mine like, like we knew about that but um there's a lot of places where who are like who would message me the day he's going and ask if I want to go but um I don't really know a lot of people here so apart from Davo and Carl and it's probably about it yeah I don't know a lot of like Kiwi explorers who actually want to like collab with me because the urban mm -hmm. people here they don't a lot of them don't like YouTubers so they don't like people like me who film it I think we give we give like a bad name and we shouldn't do it. So they don't they don't want to help out or collaborate. Oh, so you do have like some of that there in New Zealand. I didn't know you had some people like that there. Yeah, we got a lot. Like when I was in Taranaki with my dad, I tried to um get a hold of the local Urbex team. So also they could help me out with some few places around the city, and they just didn't want to know me. They didn't they didn't like that I filmed places or that I sh I did YouTube or anything like that. 
So I was talking like to Brian that. England last night really late, and he says he has a lot of problems with that. Where yeah. some guys are super friendly, and other guys are very. Um, he calls it. He calls it in. Oh God, what did he call it? Um. They think their their ball their their bollocks are bigger than their mouth is or something like that, and they're just mouthing yeah. like any guy by just YouTube. Yeah, no. so I I don't see the problem. I think it's awesome that we share it with the world and share it with other people. I think it's awesome that we can yeah. like share our countries to everyone else. But not everybody else will ever get to New Zealand or America or Scotland or something. I think it's kind of cool that you get to go on YouTube and and have a look at what you guys get to explore and mm -hmm. what we get to see. Because the places you guys you guys go to are places that I'll probably I won't be going to for a while. It's yeah, yeah. Cool. Right. Let's see what it looks like inside a big hospital or something. So I've never been into a hospital like that or like a castle or anything. Like, well, by Chris, cool. I mean Devon and I would love to see what Jericho's got, I and mean, he's got castles. We don't have castles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't. Devon can go into a big church. I can go into a an abandoned hospital or whatever. But we <laughs> there's no chance of us going into a a castle for fifteen hundred. <laughs> Well, well, yeah. well you get to see that with, with me and um, the state of Pennsylvania, because I do my research a lot on uh, places and it seems like almost every single uh, abandoned hospital in Pennsylvania right now is like demolished except for one, which is like very well known, but it's like just not not technically collapsing on itself, but it's like demolishing its own self. And that's the yeah, um, wow. hospital that I've said uh, that I don't that I want to go to earlier. And um, we tried going there uh, before, but um, the person who we like got in contact with said that there's a uh, police in front of it. But what we didn't uh, what we didn't understand, or she didn't understand, was that um, she was talking about the newer one because they moved uh, to a different hospital. And that's that. It sounds weird. Like, why is there police at the new hospital and not the old one that's abandoned? You know, but um, we're gonna try doing that uh, real soon. Um, I heard the hospital that we did uh, a couple months ago. Somebody told me they were gonna go to that hospital recently, but now they can't because it's fenced off and there's police to uh, patrol it. Because uh -huh. supposedly somebody fell and got hurt really bad or died off like the sixth floor. <clears throat> but I don't know if it's true or not. But that's what they said. They can't even get in there now. Hmm. Yeah, that happens to a lot of places as well. So yeah, but uh, you find that these uh, the blockages that they put up and the preventions to get in at some point further down the line that usually you know those measures are taken away or or somebody else goes and breaks into the place and then again you find you've got access somewhere further along the line. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's all it's all a game of, it's all a, a game of luck and what have you as well, or a game of chance when you arrive at places. You never know if you're going to if you're going to be able to fill them when you get there or no. But you've you've just got to go and find it and see, you know, kind of in the moment kind of thing. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. Urbexi says it seems to be a common theme lately of video haters, and he says they think they're pure uh, Urbex purists. But why is that even a thing? I don't know, but it's become a big thing, especially <laughs> yeah. over there for some reason. Because every, I, I, the one, the YouTubers I talk to in England are great guys, but they say there's a big faction of ones that really, if you do anything but stills, they're they're cranky with you, and if you do YouTube, they're really bad with you. But then there's the other ones that are just normal guys. But um, also, Witter quickly says, um, he'd love to go to the states with the biggest silence in hospitals and walk through those places. Dude, yeah. Uh, me included. <laughs> uh, I went to um, Maryland, and there's this hospital. I'm not going to say the name of it, but it's this, like, huge uh, tuberculosis hospital <laughs> with, like, other uh, buildings, like, surrounding it. But uh, I couldn't do it because um, there, was, there was police there. But it's so huge. And I see, like, videos of people, like, sneaking into the place um, during the night. Uh, su uh, going through the woods in the back and trying to get into the place and not getting caught, but like this place is huge and um, there's like uh, there's like the hospital, uh, right right here. There's like some other abandoned building that's not even a part of the hospital uh, um, area, and then there's other uh, buildings connected to the hospital. I think they're all connected by uh, tunnels, mm -hmm. and there's wow. this one building where there's like a sensor on a tree. And you have to like 
kind of like maneuver around and get inside there without the sentry catching you. And um, <laughs> that's like the second abandoned hospital I've seen in person. And seeing that, like what it actually looks like in person and like how huge it was, I was like, uh, if I can explore that, that would be amazing. <laughs> I will say, I don't know how many uh, explorers you've seen from England, but I know at least three guys I watch. Oh, I've seen a lot. lot. They they have a lot of these little um, mobile sensors they put up with little flashing lights and sirens over there that call the police in a lot of yeah. abandoned buildings. And they right. said, yeah, you really got to the... watch out for those. Do you watch the, do you watch the Walking Explorer, Ubix? Which He's one? He's amazing. He's from the UK. He's amazing. I think uh, the Walking Explorer... He's amazing to watch. I'm not sure. I used to watch. Uh, he's really, he's really amazing to watch. Yeah, he's awesome. I still watch um, these a couple of channels like Exploring with Jake, and I watch him. He's like 20 so I always watch his stuff. He's like, oh, um, he's probably like 17, 18, 18 years old. Goes goes out exploring. Yeah. But you see some really cool things. I kind of like. I, was, I go to a lot of the Royal Tiny channels. Just keep watching them. I think they're pretty cool. Little spots. That yeah, Lee, Lee Riley is from the. UK and that he's that that was a really great channel before he um before quit he doing uh Airbag videos yeah. but his videos were great like I would like bench watch every single one of those videos and I'm and I was forever entertained yeah I couldn't believe he gave up on it I was like shocked as hell really? I, even, I even messaged him he's like it just he said it just too much crap went. going on and YouTube getting yeah. in the way and it just wasn't worth his effort to put into it anymore yeah, because I, uh, I have him on Twitter, and I've and I've spoke to, spoken to him. Yeah, yeah he's a, a lot guy. of channels I've seen that I can't find again. It's like been like a really like a lot of really good channels I've, I've been watching. Um, because it's sort of just like I can't remember what the channels name were or who they were, so I can't find the, the channels to go back to watch more. But they're like really really small channels, but really good, like really amazing places over to. There's one. Yeah, I'm um, some cool channel that's sit there. I think it's sit there. It's like cop or something. <laughs> He walks around the city like they explore. That was pretty cool, but I can't remember the, the channel's name. Or does it feel like really, like really good on us to watch? Honestly, you know, like, I don't even watch the big guys anymore. I mean, I still like the big guys, yeah. but I don't yeah. even watch them much anymore. Just because I'd rather watch small, the small guys. Yeah, I actually find. Yeah, me too. Them. I mean, I like people like the proper people. I love them. I think they're the urbex gods. But yeah, I kind of enjoy the smaller people's videos a little more. Me too. I, I like, like some of the guys have gotten using gimbals now too much. And I don't like that super, super smooth look to some of the explorers. And also, since they got these big gimbals, they're not going into as many places as they used to because they want to keep this beautiful cinematic footage. Well, I think that takes away yeah. from it a little bit. Yeah. You like uh, raw footage better. Or what I'm do you guys think? Yeah, so I, have smooth. I know um, <laughs> Tay, Tay Official from Canada has a 3D camera. Now he does some of these 3D interactive ones. Yeah. I, I kind of like those. I kind of don't. I think that's kind of cool, but like, I kind of like it. I kind of don't, but I, but it's like super cool. Like something that I want to do for like a certain location, but not like all the time. Yeah, he because even he says it's hard to film if you got other people with you because it's always gonna be in the way and messing with your footage end. And it's yeah. also hard to film it with unless you have a really good light because in the dimmer light, the cameras take so much light it doesn't work real well. Yeah, I can I, see that. I don't like is I think once again it's kind of. A pain in the butt that every second of the video is just a turn, look, turn, look. Up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to depend on like uh, Pajerico to edit for me and show me the good stuff. That's what I'm like. I mean, that's why, that's mm -hmm. why Tay made um, uh, a 360 uh, video and a non 360. Yeah, exactly what he told me. That's amazing. Yeah. I love those 360 degrees videos. I've uh, forced you cover, they're amazing to watch. It took me a while to figure out what to do with it, but I like, had to watch it, but it's actually pretty cool. My, yeah, cool. my phone now, I got a new Galaxy that you say plus, and like, yeah. it's really bad in real light. If I'm filming somewhere, it's a bit dark, I turn my light on. It, it's just like, I, even when you're in introduction, like, it, sometimes it's just not very crisp. And sometimes the picture's like really bad. <coughs> you my old phone. I know and, not yeah, everybody in like, the chat. But Urbexi said it's a good thing about the UK that uh, trespass is only a civil offense. You leave when you get asked, and you don't break or damage yeah. anything, you're okay. And I, I'm with I Zeke. Zeke said, well, you're lucky. Yeah, in here in America, if you're if the police or whoever catches you are nice, they'll just pat you on the butt and say, go away, don't come back. Yeah. We'll give you a ticket. 
But depending on where you're at, America, we got so many different trespass laws. Really? Some, you'll automatically yeah, we do. You'll get a, a major no. fine, or in some places, they'll even just arrest you. It's like, ah, it's it's a little yeah. rougher over here about private property. Certainly, certainly oh, makes it a little bit trickier, anyway. We're doing up in court with a trespass notice, and if we get caught again, I'm probably arrested. New Zealand. They might, if, you, if, if, if it's a nice person, they might just tell you to leave, but um, pretty much in New Zealand, if you get caught trespassing, do you know, to be, would you just get arrested here? I think so. I think you just yeah, get like, a call with a three the, strike rule. I thought yeah. somebody was telling me that uh, in New Zealand, you can, it's not quite as bad as you're in America, but it's almost that you can be arrested over there. I talked to a couple guys in Australia yeah. that have been arrested too. <laughs> oh, wow. But I guess I've always said the rule. Huh? I've always said the rule that if something's unlocked or if something's open, then you can go into it. If it's like sealed shut and there's nothing's un unlocked, then don't enter. Just look at it from the outside. Yeah. Because uh, it's kind of how I do it. Like if, if, you, if, it's like, if there's like an open window that's open and doors unlocked or something, then go and have a look. But if not, then just leave it. I know Devon, he's in America yeah. like I am, but if you go in through an open, an open window or open door, or something somebody's already broke open, then you're just trespassing, yeah. and that's where our cameras can save our butts. Because a camera yeah. shows you didn't break in. But if you do yeah. break in, that's breaking and entering, and that becomes a big deal. That yeah. can get you in big <laughs> trouble, which is another reason explorers don't do it. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's my biggest thing. This guy is as much as temptation is that you really want to go see inside something. This is not worth the, the consequences of, of that anyway. Yeah. There's a little place I've just gone to and like just looked at and like crap, I really want to go inside, but you can't. Right. So yeah, well. Maybe I'll just keep trying. One day it might be open. Is that a good thing about Venus? As much as I hate Venus, they usually make a way open for you. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta depend on them. We're, we're kind of we're kind of symbiotically depend on the vandals because once again <laughs> we don't break in. But if they yeah. don't break in sometimes we don't get a chance to get into some places. Yeah. It's kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't 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 encourage them, but thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, exactly. We we hate the vandals, but we kinda gotta kinda thank you very much and you know, go in. Yeah. But it's okay, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a building not being used and they break a way in. That's different from getting in and destroying the whole place inside. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Like, uh, a, uh, I don't know if you saw the. Sorry, after you. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's this uh, school that I got in. Um, it's a very well known school in uh, my city. And it, there is literally, <laughs> well, actually, I heard there's a couple ways in. But if you want to be the one that's kind of cautious about things since there's a fence around the school then I guess this kind of supports my argument but um so the thing about the school that I got into like I said is a very well known school um despite um the openings in the fence not outside um there is basically the school is completely locked up and um if you know abandoned buildings you know always check the back Mm -hmm. And so I checked the back, and there's a board that I think a vandal actually, like, cut uh, in half. And you were able to uh, slide right in. You can enter the auditorium of the school. And if it wasn't for that board, I actually would have known that there was even a way into that school. And that's why you always check the back of abandoned places. I had somebody do that when I was going around a building, and I was checking. You know, you never break. I was just pushing the boards. And then I found one that just swung on me. And I looked, and somebody had removed all the screws. All the screws, all yeah. And so it hung there perfectly. But if you went like this, it was like a swinging door. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see where somebody had actually removed the screws. Not broken, but they removed them. So they were trying to be sneaky and make oh. field still. S yeah. Same thing happened to uh, the church on the same exact street of, uh, <laughs> of that uh, school. Uh, that uh, St. Peter and Paul church that I did. Um it was hilarious because the first time uh, we tried to explore a church, there was no opening. And then um, the day where we finally found an opening, it, it, like we found an opening. It was like, like I said, the, like the board was cut, but it was on the side of the church. And literally me and PJ, um, my partner, we like ran to the opening 
and slid without uh, touching the ground. We slid inside because we were that excited <laughs> to finally get into that church. <laughs> like, I don't think we actually touched the ground. Because here's the board. Like, here's the board. Here's the ground. We went, <laughs> we just went right in. <laughs> so, and like, we like, we like, so we, we uh, threw our bags in there before getting in. But I, like, like I said, I don't even remember touching the ground. We just like were that excited to just get in there and finally uh, record. I know um, Isaac saw this, but Winter quickly on our chat. Says he has an old explosives site, ten minute walk from his house, where twenty thousand people used to work making munitions. Ooh. And they still make wow. in a small part of it, they still make some missile parts for the rest of it's abandoned. Huh. That'd be kind of cool to have close to you. I mean, where twenty thousand yeah, people used to be amazing. making yeah. munitions. Right. That's really cool. Also, a little bit ago, uh, uh, Explorer NC. In one of his videos, yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen it. He had a seven thousand volt fence, or what, uh, that he had to get around to get in. Oh yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> and he was I able to see a video, but I heard about shocked. it. Shocked. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty much it for the chat at the moment. Just to go back over a few things. What should we talk about now? Uh well, Pajerico, how far are you starting to get to have to go from your house to find sites? I mean. I know we all have to travel more and more. I mean, I've been traveling. I think my longest trip last year was 10, 10 and a half hours away. I have to start traveling. For hey, I've managed to reach about, I'd say about 400 yards from my front doors, about the fullest I've been. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but see, on, a, on, a, on a serious note, I've, uh, I can't even, I started this, I wanted to target everyone close to home at first. Mm -hmm. So I've stuck to the whole of the central belt where I live. But uh, this year I've got plans to start heading up the, the east coast of Scotland and straight over to the west coast of Scotland. And going back to what you were saying earlier, um, there's, a, there's a few people I've kind of got some rough plans made for uh, doing collabs with. One of them's our Bexy. There's another uh, group of explorers down south. They're called uh, KH Urban X. And our friend, I'm not sure if they're engaged or not. But they do a lot of explores in England, so mm -hmm. hopefully we're going to meet up at some point later this summer. And there's another, I think you're familiar with him, CF, it's a walking, exploring Nurbex. So mm -hmm. we've had a wee talk yeah, on that, really, and hopefully we're yeah. going to maybe do something in a couple of months' time. So we'll see how it goes, and there should be, should be some interesting explores coming up. And obviously a lot of at least two or three guys in England that would love to collab with you or share sites with you, so... You could have a yeah. you could have a good call, good year or two coming here. It'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, but I hope so. I hope so. I, mean, there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of places in South and England that uh, there's quite guys. I want again. It's mainly you know smaller channels, but uh, just for support reasons. But there's still some places down in England I'd really like to visit. I mean that Denby Asylum for one. You know I think that'd be a great place. You could virtually buy five pattern on that if you were really getting in depth there, and then. Do my usual shrink it into you know the highlights for one wee vlog at, at the end of it kind of thing, but uh, there's a lot of a nice place to, to be heard and seen. I want to explore an orphanage. Oh, Nikki Diamond just came on and uh said she discovered you abandoned New Zealand, so it looks like you have another follower. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> That's, uh, yes, really. Thank you. Oh, this word. Sorry, I'm ask, answering a question she asked on the chat, and I'm trying to figure out what word she's asking me about. Um, okay, um, now this year I'm hoping, my, with me, as you all know, as you guys on here know, my health just depends on a lot how much I can travel right. and money, and now I'm getting some distance. <laughs> Devon knows, he lives, this is a big area. we got a lot of country to travel, and sometimes it's distant. I know I'm, I'm going, Tenzel Roku and I are going to Gary, Indiana here in about a month, month and a half. Um, we're gonna do two, three days there, and then um, I know we're going. There's gonna be about five of us going to Detroit in a group. Um, coming up late spring or early summer, and I'm hoping to head to East Coast to see Fuzz clear out in the East Coast, and hoping while I'm doing that on that trip, take a long enough trip to stop by and hang out with Devon for a while, because he's kind of yeah. between me and Fuzz. So that would make me make it a good fun trip for me. I could collab with those guys. That'd be great. 
Yeah. They don't mess with our, our time of limit, so I think we can drive about an hour for our bigger explorers, but um, by the village we did, and it was only like 15 minutes away or 20 minutes away. <laughs> but um, then we, we started travel through the further out of Auckland. I forgot, I have an abandoned there. distillery. Ooh, that'd be that'd nice. Be cool. Yeah, I just cool. forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun. I think there's a mill we know about um, along the river. It's just a matter of getting to anything you need a boat. And that's the one in Marissa, dude. The uh, lady yeah. who owned the museum, her father. Yeah, we got that. We could, what if we could do that mill along the riverside there? Break into it. That'd be cool. <laughs> so wouldn't your father still own it or family? That's the thing, it's privately owned, so it's hard to get yeah. in there when you drive past and it looks like it's abandoned and then you're driving past that one down the motorway and there's a flash as Mercedes sitting in the car park. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what are they doing there? Oh, the abandoned school me and Sean did early in the summer, the really nice one with a cool uh, gym, gymnasium and stuff. I had a couple people on ask me on the comments, why are you whispering so much? Well, there was literally a house Somebody used a church right next to the school and built a house out of it. And this <laughs> house people were living in, they actually had their backyard. We're out in their backyard. Their backyard butts up against the one side of the school now. Their house is literally <laughs> 10 feet away, and half the windows of the school are broke open. So the farther we got to that <laughs> side, the quieter nice. we had to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, half our experience is um, or by accident, by just by driving around. <laughs> I think those are the most fun ones when you kind of don't plan, you just stumble across something and you're like, oh crap. There's a, a church um, in Mount Eden, and I've done the outside a couple of times, but I was there before summer and I was showing Tiala. And it's the same house, nothing, no way to get it. And I was pushing on some boards, and I noticed one of the boards was about to fall in. I was like, oh crap, I just jumped through there. So I think maybe when one time I go back, uh, I went to night and do it. There's no windows at all, but I don't actually realize it was successful until to, to then. I kind of think in New Zealand I can't show the outside of places very much because the vandals here are too bad. It's such a small country, and people like watch like watch your videos just to find places to vandalize and tag up and stuff. So I've had to stop doing a lot of outside shots in the place I go to, which is kind of sad because the outside is usually like really amazing. Yeah. 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 How, oh, okay, so who's gonna I be gotta, traveling? Uh, who's got travel plans this year, and how far are you gonna go? I got travel plans uh, <clears throat> to uh, this place that's uh, one hour away from me that has like a bunch of uh, abandoned places. That's where that um, the tr that train station, the hospital, the nursing home. That's where everything is, and that's basically like it used to be a city, well, not a city, city, but it used to be like a small little town. That's just like completely just abandoned now and everything's just downhill. Uh, there's also an abandoned church there, but but you can't get in there at all. Um, and I also want to say that I got two collabs planned, uh, I think, on the week of the 24th. I think I have a collab on the 23rd and a collab on the 24th. Uh, for some not really urbex stuff, but kind of like runes type of things. <clears throat> My voice. Like what? Sorry. Kind of like runes. Or oh, runes, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Ruins. Yeah. Ruins. <laughs> now, hey, does anybody have any sites that they are not going to explore alone this year because they're sketchy, where you would explore alone, but not this place because it's a little too. The no hospital and the nursing home. Dangerous. Yeah. Uh, why commit a cemetery at night? Oh, I wouldn't I, do that on my own. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> do a cemetery <laughs> alone at night. <laughs> I'll, I'll do anything but this. Is really I, I, actually, yeah, I would. Yeah. That, <laughs> hey, last Halloween, I went out to, to vlog a cemetery for a, like a Halloween kind of vlog. And I got there in the car. I was on my own. I got out the car, put my torch on, started my camera, done my intro and thought, the hell with us, I'm up the road. And I, I go back to the car and I go out and I was straight out of there. That's the White Committee Cemetery when I was there last. I was like, um, when Hangman Trees were, it's always fascinating me. So I went back there 
And the first time we went in there, I noticed like a little bit of a camp set up. So last time I went back there to show Tiao and someone else, um, I noticed that the first day she got a dog. So I kind of like going back in our times, it's a bit sketchier now, knowing that somebody's actually living in the bush. Yeah. Like dogs. <laughs> With a guard dog. I know that I'm yeah. glad uh, since Sean, since my partner Sean quit, I put off going back to Gary, Indiana, but then thankfully uh, Tenzo Roku lives pretty decent, well, within about three, four hours of me. So him and I are going to meet in Gary, Indiana, since neither of us want to go there alone because it's pretty dangerous. The whole town is, uh, Devon, what are you one telling me Devon is like murder capital of the area or something? Or really? Wait, what? what? Gary, Indiana right. has extremely high murder rates. I do know that. So we're going to go there together with a lot of pepper spray. <laughs> and Cairo, Illinois, yes, uh, has um, a huge amount of uh, drug addicts that live in some of the buildings. You got to be careful some time of the day. Wow. Ooh, there was a street in this um, one, not really <laughs> neighborhood, but like small town, uh, like 30 minutes away from me. Um, and like this entire street, it was like a street with sub streets connected to it. And like, the whole entire neighborhood neighborhood is all bad. Like it's a, it's like a local stereotype for the area, but there's like a bunch of drug addicts, shootings everywhere. It's just a bad area, and like I really want to explore those houses, but just the anxiety just gets to me about it. It's like the whole entire street is abandoned, and there's like sub streets with other houses. It's just like an urbex dream, you know? Yeah. But it, like, it sucks it's when you like, can't do it. I yeah. think it's mental how you guys have like like complete suburbs just abandoned over there. Like, um, I watched Exploring with um, the Josh was on, and then they did like that just massive it's just self suburbs. The streets are just empty. And here yeah. up the coast, a little bit further, there's I mean, my dad lives for, like an hour away from him. There's like a pretty much an entire abandoned town. They used to have, like 5,000 people, and now it's got like 100 people who live there. Yeah. Well, my friend in Detroit yeah. was up there last year. He's telling me that there's whole Sounds area good. the size of city is abandoned up there because Detroit right now has a third of the population that it used to have. Yep. Damn. Well, it's just huge areas. I mean, it's strange up there as you're driving along, good neighborhood, good neighborhood, then suddenly within 10 feet, you're into a whole area of like 40 abandoned houses or something. Yep. Wow. See, I was only in Detroit once. <laughs> <laughs> it was due to the car manufacturers leaving, eh? Yep, car manufacturers. has been going on for like an hour and 30 minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, time flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see dude couldn't take being in front of the camera. He went back behind the camera and threw another picture of Zeke up there. <laughs> I don't yeah, even know why that's CF, there. got a yeah. comment for you. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Like my icon's not there. I have to choose his one. <laughs> hey, speaking of the dude, I like that video that the dude done know where he, he explored the the uh, the wreckage of the old plane. That was a really cool explore. Oh, yeah, right. that he, was made like a, he made like a storage shed out of part of it too, or something. <laughs> that was well cool. Yeah, the guy was turning it into a flat, into a house. What? <laughs> It's like a place to live. Around <laughs> the place we yeah. did not a while ago, last year, me and Hayden, I was with Hayden, and um, we thought we found this really cool, oh, like, train station looking thing. Then we did the, the big plane, dude, and we, we, me and Hayden went off, and we thought we found this old train station. We started walking up to yeah, it, it's, it's, it was all water up, and it was like, it looked wrecked. It was all overgrown. And when we got close to it, we noticed, like, um, somebody was actually living there. It's just like a brand new door. It's like, oh crap, we're leaving. It look, it's actually empty. I'm sure to find something. Guys, should look at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nikki Diamond says, no, don't go to Detroit. You'll get all screwed up or sold. Well, I've already been to Detroit <laughs> once, Nikki. Actually, I've been to Detroit twice, but only one to explore. <clears throat> downtown area of Detroit, the small downtown is beautiful, but boy, you go out of the downtown area and it goes downhill fast in some places. Yeah. <laughs> We we ran into, we we ran into uh, just just by driving around ran into a big ex, uh, abandoned school and and while well, that old hospital where we went to uh, too late in the day and we probably shouldn't have gone in there. I need to I need to explore Detroit, dude. Hey, I, guys. I know we're going this year. I know you said your parents will let you go though. 
I don't even know if they will. <laughs> I mean, I've been there before. No, but dude, you're like uh, abandoned, <laughs> uh, abandoned TJ from uh, England. Your parents are really cool about it. That's hard to find. A lot of them. Hell, my mom doesn't understand me doing this. My dad my thinks dad it's is cool. all right, my mom does not get it. And the rest of you have. What do you? What does your family think for the rest of you that do this stuff? Or YouTube in general? Do they think you're crazy doing YouTube or exploring? Who, me? Really? No, for me. I mean, uh, I think uh, I, I get a lot of support, but uh, not so much as like, like uh, really involved, but I mean, my family and that kind of like, you know, it's, it's a good hobby and there's a bit of history in that, so there's, there's hopefully a lot of interest and stuff in the videos. It's all positive on my end. My wife loves me doing it. She's really helped out a lot, actually. Yeah. She's still trying to get me to edit as fast as she does, which I really need to do because I'm behind again. I was, was going to say that, but you're editing. <laughs> oh, man. You're still waiting for a rant video. To do, I'm trying to do a second part of the hospital right now because I have. we were there over 11 and a half hours, and I've got insane amounts of footage, so I'm trying to put together something um, maybe a little faster paced, some with some <coughs> footage and, uh, you know, a lot of hallways we travel down there. Just the amount of hallways there is amazing. Being half that, half that complex mm -hmm. is eight stories tall with two levels of tunnels under it. Yeah. What's the biggest place you explored? Uh, the military base. Uh, right. <laughs> Duh. The hospital would be number two, but the military base is really how big it was. We had to have the truck in there. I, I should have said building. I'm gonna sneak my four by four <laughs> in there and drive around. Where was the place we went to um, see if it was had massive, massive what you were shown? It was like a massive old bombing um, TNT bomb place or um, <laughs> yeah, that was the massive hallways. Yeah. That place was huge. Yeah, it was, was there for a full day, and we had access. Like I said, we were able to sneak a whole four wheel drive pickup truck in there. Wow. Um, but we, uh, even with the truck, we were uh, the whole day. We didn't see maybe maybe a quarter of that place, maybe forty percent. Really? Big. That place hey, was you need to go back. Then. It was. I would like to go back, but once again, yeah. I'd have to make sure that Tenzo Roku could go with me or somebody else because it's not a place you want to be alone. Right. Yeah. It can be a little sketchy. I know there are some areas of it that are a little sketchy to be all by yourself. So the big slides that went from the top story out was it like an, an escape route or something? Yeah, because uh, they they, they uh, worked on explosives in there. And if there was ever a fire, yeah. they never they didn't even try to put it out. Automatically, if a fire happened there, they hit an alarm and jumped down the slides and got the hell out of the building. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> the same. And I was that's here crazy. Uh, the slides. Seems like a good plan. Had white paint <laughs> in them, and just by touching them, the white was coming off all over you. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna slide down and end up with a white stripe on my ass. Don has a video on his place still that he took with him, but he's got a video of me trying it out and thinking about it. But man, it was really fun where you couldn't control yourself and then you were just getting white by touching it. I'm like, I'm Must not doing when, um, I think you're inside and you all have the Young spiral staircase and Sean was in front of you. laughing. Yeah, Sean was a little wide for that staircase. <laughs> It's it's funny on camera, but he should have been there in person because I was I was oh I was crying. I was laughing so hard. I had tears of laughter myself. His stomach is hanging over the railing and jamming inside. He's having a hard time getting down it. He got stuck twice. <laughs> yeah, he was he was great to explore with. He's by the best exploring partner I've actually ever had. But he was funny. He got uh, too much into video games. Do you mean yeah, anybody else who wants to explore? It just seems like towards the end. Mm -hmm. uh, towards the end, he was getting good. Towards the end, he was yeah, starting to yeah. talk to the camera yeah. and he was actually get involved, starting to do you know? footage. And he was starting to put in, do good pictures and video that I could use. And he really yeah. seemed to be enjoying it, except he just couldn't get to any place on time when we were going to leave. He'd be there a half hour late, hour <laughs> late. He'd come in, he'd get there, and he'd be dead tired because he was up all night playing video games. <laughs> they want to stop and grab like four energy drinks and a breakfast on the way and make us even later. And then he's getting tired on the explorers. And that's why he didn't record as much and more than he did because he was so tired. Well, one time he was, the last time he didn't go was when I met Tenzo Roku. 
Uh, we went to, I was going to go and meet him in Wisconsin for an explore of a school that I'll be editing here soon. And Sean, I waited for him over an hour and a half and he didn't show up. Um, 20 minutes after I left, it was almost two hours late. He calls me going, you didn't leave yet, did you? I'm like, well, yeah. Then he was all mad at me from then on. And he wow. hasn't, he's like all pissed at me and yelled at me. And then he, and I, he hasn't talked to me since. Right, That's really, his fault. This really is something. That's this his fault. Really something. Wow. You should hold on to things that long, please. Hey, friend, anybody else to explore with now? Like, who go with you and explores? Uh, Tenzo Roku, the, the, he, was, he, he was on the live stream a minute ago on the chat, but I don't know if he's still there. But yeah, yeah. I, I met him in Wisconsin. Him and I've talked. He's going to Gary, Indiana with me. He wants to go to Detroit with our group. And he, I'm hoping he's going to take a couple more trips with me down to Missouri. And maybe one more trip. We're hoping for three or four trips together this year. That's cool. Yeah, he's a good Apparently, guy. Apparently, Nikki has like the hots for someone in the stream. <laughs> I think it's you. <laughs> uh -oh. He says somebody on here looks like a straight up killer. <laughs> oh, I need to turn my phone. I'm not sure who she's talking about. It's definitely you. Oh, so Devon, so Devon leaves. <laughs> No, I'm still here. My uh, my phone was dying. Oh, this one. No, yeah, you... finding people in my area to explore is really tough. I found. I'll just put right here and hold it. I guess. I know my phone was charging. I know my phone was charging. Not going. I will not go by myself, and that's that. So. Uh. Let's see. See if I can hold this phone somewhere. <laughs> oh no! Well, the thing no, is, I'm not even. I'm not even sure if it's my place to try contacting Sean again because I was a. I don't know. It was. It was a lot of. He was a good explorer, but he was. It was a lot of work to keep him. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He wouldn't go to bed, and he was coming in tired and staying up late doing video games and stuff. Yeah. It was like. It was like. Yeah. Like, even, even with my gaming, I always have like a time limit, like when I play too. Just so I know I gotta do things the next day and I need it to sleep. Yeah. Uh, there's been a couple of times I'm a little bit of time, it's been like three o'clock, but I hold crack. But you show them off about midnight. Maybe she like watch a few more channels and then get off and then go to bed. I always go to be about two o'clock in the morning. Maybe she's up around half past nine this morning, but you should wake up at eight and just make sure my video's all scheduled to go. Well, you need to talk Some to him and tell him to be good in moderation because. I'd be talking to him at like one o'clock in the afternoon one day, and yeah. then I'd call him a couple of times to, to update some stuff. He'd still be on the on the game, same game, four hours later, and then he Jesus. would show up in the morning late. And I'd be like, "Dude, what were you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I was playing that game." So I'm like, "Okay, so you were on that game for like eleven hours straight." I'm like, "That is crazy." Yeah, I think my longest was twelve hours. Like, holy crap! That's the time it's so fast. It's kind of like it's pretty bad. Sounds like me it's trying funny. to make music. You like a really good, things like when you get into a really good game, you kind of just zone into it. <laughs> it was going fun. So I was with, I was with a clan for a while, with a game clan, and so I was trying to do my YouTube thing, it's plus two clan things, so it's kind of got too much, so I left the clan. Well, YouTube, hey, my channel is first. Buzz came back <laughs> in the chat, and he said, how's it going, guys? So we're doing hey, Buzz. <laughs> Hi, Buzz. I see uh, Nikki Diamond has asked, has anyone found anything valuable? But uh, one of the places, the Avondale House that I went to, was uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of so. property in that place. And there was also a painting in there that, that Tommy, that, that does the explores with me, he had looked the painting up, it was an original, and it was worth about 13,000 pounds as well. Oh, holy crap. But, uh, uh, man's man, man, so the cushions, no. Nothing's worth anything I've been to. I think I've seen these things, but it's usually just the beds or... Cheers or old troop TVs. Oh, I don't know. Zeke, the morning house you were in had a bunch of a workout equipment and everything else that would be kind of pricey. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I found a 50s uh, oven. Well, there you go. Uh, I forgot about I that. I found wallets. I found snap-on tools. I found... Wallets. Oh, yeah. I found wallets. I mean, well, you <laughs> see the, the rest home I did at the long-term care hospital center. There, uh, the oh, yeah. room had about ten thousand dollars worth of medical equipment, and I found an IV machine. Oh, Jesus, dude. Um, yeah. I, how much that fake leg worth? <laughs> oh, jeez. 
I think like actually the mansion I went to, or the, the big white house I did not long ago, there when I started building it and whatever forever reason I had to finish building it, down in the basement there was actually like some um like some massive, massive ornament like vices still packed away in their packaging. So I guess that was worth a bit, but I kinda don't put that stuff on camera because of how small we are. I don't want people to go in there and steal and things or wrecking things. So I kinda yep. like, yeah. I try and not. So if I see anything worth anything, I, I don't put it on camera. I keep it off. I have only put things on once a while, but I'm with Zeke. A lot of times, I don't show cool things I find because I'm afraid it'll give somebody yeah. a reason to come in and steal it or take it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd love to be able to show things. So it's good like, yeah. point. Good point. I would love somebody to show them, but I'm like, uh, to be able to take, sure. Or if it's an area that I don't think anybody can get into, then fine. Maybe I'll show the cool stuff. Yeah. But there's some stuff I don't want to show. I'm afraid somebody that, you know, five fingers. Good point. Yeah. Off. I kind of wish I could because there's some really cool stuff that he's, I usually cut out of videos for the dude because he's been doing my, he's been a lot of, he's done all the editing lately apart from, I think I did today's video. I did a couple, but I think the dude's, um, where all the editing is missing it. So I gave him like, I gave him all the footage I've had and he's just been editing all the videos. He's like, yeah, he's a lot better at the editing stuff than I am. I ran he into uh, a new explorer on YouTube a while back. Mm -hmm. I had to kind of tell this person to stop showing how they got into buildings. Yeah. They were showing their like entry that, point and how exactly they got in and walked there and walked into the place. And it wasn't like it was easy to get into. It's like if they didn't right. show them, they wouldn't know. So they were kind of giving away. Right. Helping yeah. vandals get yeah. in. And then they were wondering how somebody's just getting vandalized. Well, I'm like, you're showing them how. You can't do yeah, that. Okay. It kind of comes to the... The old, the old, uh, you know, golden rule is to conceal your locations, especially if they're, they're valuable or the stuff. So, you know, it's like the golden rule anyway, you know. Yep. Keep it concealed. Don't give away the, the location. <clears throat> That's why I don't give more history. There's a lot of places I'd love to give more history, but if I give too much history, it'll be found. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah something, something like that. Much I'm going to... I'm going to leave the stream, guys. It's getting very late here. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. so, You're like 12 enjoy, at night. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah, enjoy the rest yeah, of your night enjoy, anyway. Guys. So, yeah, good night. Thanks for coming, man. Good night, guys. Yeah. Have a good one, Pajerico. There's nothing I do. I try not to show like the surrounding area of what I'm, what I'm filming. So, like, because New Zealand's so small, so I'll. Our, pretty, our, our city is probably like as big as the suburbs, so if we give away the entire surrounding location, people find us real fast. So we, all you need here is one landmark, and then people can find out where you've been and go wreck it. Like the fire station, um, I went and I did the fire station. I, when I, re I heard it got absolutely destroyed, so I went back to it. And it was absolutely smashed up and covered in graffiti. I was like, holy crap. I didn't realize it was like going to be that bad. That's like, a hole so you get into it. Nice. If you got a drone, yeah. it's even it's it's even harder not to show a place. Yeah. Um, yeah. Too much to, with a drone, you can give away too many landmarks if you're not careful. So I try yeah. to focus on the building itself more than anything, and keep any uh, surroundings out of it if possible. I did love when he did the hospital. He had the drone going out of the building. That was amazing. And then he came to. Yeah. The the end, end of the video and that footage was epic. That yeah, was so amazing. That's why I use that little drone because that's two buildings I've been able to do that with now. The racetrack I was able to go through the window. Yeah, and, that's cool. and any bigger drone would not fit. So yeah. that, little, that little spark only being a little bigger in my hand fits through those. And a Mavic, well, what a Mavic is also a lot louder. But when you unfold yeah. a Mavic, it's like this big. It'll never go through those areas or fly down a hallway like the spark will. So it was a whole bottom floor that hospital flooded. Um, that yeah, or does it flood me? If you can see in the video, um, we're actually walking through water. That's why we yeah. were. And then we got to the there was a raised part of the hallway on the side, like where they used to have lockers. We were walking on that, and we were still getting water. Wow. This deep. So we got so hmm. deep, and we knew the morgue and the x-ray were ahead of us, but it was getting really deep. Oh, we no. We yeah. an air vent later, and it was flooding. It was about eight feet deep. Oh. I think um, I watched um, the Mitchell Wolfpack crew and Alex, I think he did a big hospital in Pittsburgh or somewhere, and I thought it's the same place, but the, all the Morgan stuff, the bottom, entire bottom basin floor was all underwater. Mm -hmm. You see with somebody taking like a rubber, a rubber boat 
and just left it there. It's been popped or something. It's like, holy crap, how does it get that bad? How does it flood? Dude, that'd and, be and crazy. That. In the dark, at a lower level, in a rubber wrapped in the middle yeah. of the floor. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It's That's amazing how they flood, isn't it? Like something, so, something like that. Like, I just don't, I don't get how it floods like that. It's pretty epic. Well, if you saw that hospital, probably... the mold in that place is insane. We had to have masks on a lot of places because it was so bad. That even with yeah. those really good masks that I use. I mean, those things mask, are insanely yeah. good. They would, you could still almost smell the mold a little bit. Yeah. yeah that's bad. I think I've been to a few places where there's big black mold. I'm like, uh, I didn't have a mask. It's not good. I should try and film and leave. Herbex, no, uh, that's I filmed. Herbex, he's on the chat and he says, sometimes you feel like taking items and giving them to a museum because you know someone yep. will damage them someday. Problem is, yeah. one thing you kind of yeah. and nobody else. Steal them. Yeah. I mean, I think it's yours. I'm not to give things to museum. The old farmhouse I did, that's got the newspapers under the floor. Yeah. yeah cool. I know for a fact that farmer is going to have let the fire department oh. in that area practice on it and burn it down this coming spring. Oh, wow. Really? You know, if you got one and framed it. doesn't no, know we were in awesome. there. But I'm thinking about going back, admitting we we're in there, and just to tell him about the newspaper so they don't get burned up. You should do that. He may be that angry. That was a cool house, that one. Get destroyed. That was cool. No. Is um, this your. Uh, um, sorry, after you. <laughs> no, no, you go. You go, because I have a question. Um, so, after. Uh, things about. Um, dude, uh, Puhoy is probably like an hour and a half out of Auckland. There's these amazing old villas. And so Tiao, who exposes us sometimes, she lives up there. And she was saying last night a message that they're actually pulling the places down, which is really sad. We try to get into them and to document them before they pull, go all pulled down. But the person who worked at the on the road at the time just was not going to. She she said yes. And then when I rang up to set all up, she's saying that she's changed mine real fast and said no. But there's some, uh, like, probably like 1800s, like early, late 1800s, early 1900 villas. And they had seats as so. Wow. Yeah, oh, wow. and now they're just going to get ripped down, just so they can build new roads through the to make the traffic like make the motorway bigger through that part of Auckland, which is pretty pretty sad. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, despite uh finding valuables, what is the strangest uh thing you found in places? You guys know mine. Um, it's a it's a prosthetic leg standing there in a used yeah. worn shoe. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Mine's, um, the most strange thing I found in a explore was um somebody's ashes in a little box left in the garage with all the rubbish. I found oh, a I safe in a school. No, that's not the weirdest thing I've seen. Um, <laughs> the 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 strangest thing I've seen was um pictures of people's IDs and driver's license. In an abandoned really? school in the principal's office. The principal's office. Why is he pitch up people's IDs? Sound weird. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Like, if you look at my um video on uh Lawnmare Elementary School, you can see it. And we're like it and it was a and it was an unexpected collab video. And like we're just at in the principal principal's office and we're like mm -hmm. Why are there pictures of people's IDs and driver's license, mm -hmm. like randomly years? That is weird. Like, yeah, that, was, the, uh, that was the strangest thing I've. I've the factory seen. I did. I had. If you notice, when we go in the locker room in the factory, one of my first places I explored for the channel, um, you'll see I zoom in for a quick second on a wallet sitting there. All its credit cards, ATM cards, everything is still there, sitting on the bench in the locker room. Hmm. But yeah, you find weird stuff. It's just like, what the heck? How do people leave this stuff? I mean, right. yeah. rules laying around, and right. it's just weird what they leave sometimes. Yeah, and it's kind of like um, I think you guys are more used to like walking to a place and seeing things left behind, or is where I walk to a house and there's like clothes and stuff behind. I feel like I'm intruding. Like, yeah, like, it's so it's so rare for me like to walk to a place and there's actually um, like anything. Usually, well, like all last year's places are all like or um, like empty and bare stuff. Cause, yeah, like I've noticed this year with the big explores, like seeing all the beasts behind and things like that, it's like holy crap, it's actually kind of kind of cool. 
Or Bex has to write an anonymous letter to the farmer about those newspapers under the floor of his house. Problem is, I don't know his address because he doesn't live at that house. Yeah. He He's pretty sure I, he might have my phone number still to remember me. And he might kind of, uh, I don't know. I might as well just walk you up to him. And him and here. Nice. But here, I want you to have these. Don't destroy them, you know? I mean, if you were able to, like, call him. Huh? He might thank you for telling him. What's that, dude? Are the farms in are the farms in America are pretty like laid back like the ones here? Like I'll first go to a farmer in New Zealand and they're pretty like chill. Unless you're on, in Rotoria, but most of them pretty chill here. Farmhouse is near me. So I'm gonna have to call you back. Yeah, it's all right. 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 Yeah, have you ever thought of maybe asking Dave to um, do some drone footage of some of your explorers for you? Um, I haven't myself. Um, I know Tiao's friend has got a drone, and he's happy to do some drone, some drone footage for us. Um, especially the hospital in, um, out of town that I really want to do. He's happy to go along and, and drone it for me. Oh, hey, yeah. Steve. Steve. Yeah. Um, yeah. Remember that thing I told you on stream the other day? I think so. Isaac doesn't know. It's oh. a surprise. Ah. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's a yep. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, Just surprise. so you don't uh, say anything, that's all. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, you're not allowed to know. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, Devon and some of the people out here don't know. On the last road trip, these guys were on over there in New Zealand. Dude's van gave up a ghost. But to me, as a mechanic, I haven't seen one of that model of van for a while. It's the old Toyota with the <laughs> engines under the seat. That is it. Even we're in New Zealand. Was so they're like really popular. Good, so. I think I'm one of the most did a lot of road trips <laughs> I always felt weird driving the road trip so far forward. Over I need to catch up on everyone's videos. Engine. I can't even mm -hmm. die on that road trip. And it's like the dude spent months painting that trip for us, and it, we didn't get like halfway, and it died. It was pretty sad. <laughs> and we didn't end up doing any of the cool stuff because we were far yeah. because my damn van. <laughs> Gee, uh, it's kind of sad. I think it's, I didn't stay two days to get home in that van. It was that hour, like so long to get home in it. We limped it all the way back to Auckland. I think we did our whole trip and we just got back. back awesome. Yeah. 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 When we stayed at the hotel that night, our first night, and it had the most amazing view. I thought, yeah, well, we can right. wake up in the morning and I'll take a picture of the, of the view. I woke up and it was just so cloudy and rainy, you couldn't see nothing. Yeah, it was worse than that. You were showing it on camera, that ocean. You guys are like right on it. Yeah. It was like a thousand foot drop down to the coastline part of it. And there's no rails or nothing stopping you from going over. Just a shoot drop. Devon, oh, and, there's I people passing us and, like... Devon and I are stuck here. <laughs> yeah. Locals. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like, um, I was thinking I was the only one looking out the window, looking at the coast. <laughs> Anyone else was looking ahead. <laughs> but, yeah. it's, it's an amazing, um, it's a long road, but it's an amazing view. As long as you have, as long as you have enough, yeah. enough petrol. Just really like, I think we didn't realize how far it was. That that yeah, video way. on Isaac on the road trip. I like. I wish you could have got in there because it looked pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm still sure that was abandoned. I'm pretty sure that was like an old tenant's, like close the old bank there. Oh, I've been been there. I'm pretty yeah, like. Look, but then um the the town it's in, like, those people would probably live in anything. But I was like, so doors are like, unlocked. I was like, do I walk in and? And then somebody's actually living in there, or I was like not walking in. So I opened the door, I was, I was kind of like, felt like I was going to intrude on someone, so I shut and walked off. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure that was like, I'm pretty sure that was fully abandoned. It was just somebody old. Hey, somebody, everyone, I'm out. Somebody's on clothes. You're out. See you, mate. You're out. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Um, oh, I've yeah, got uh, stuff I've got to do. But uh, th thanks, uh, thanks heaps, um, CF, and see you later, Devon, and see you later, Isaac. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Sorry, I couldn't read the chat. Yeah. Catch you guys later. 
That's okay. A little bit here. I got to go walk my dog before he goes nuts. Yeah, I think the stream's going over like two hours now. Yeah, we've been on a while. <laughs> we've been on for a while. You know, right, cool. We got to do this, and that's great to get out and talk to everybody. Once again, I love the technology. We are, me and Devon are two or three states apart. Then that pales in comparison to we had a guy from Scotland on your live, and then a couple guys from New Zealand. That is a hell of a stretch around the planet. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. Five, and there's barely any lag in the transmission between our countries, even. That is really the only, the only lag is maybe they, like. I mean, I think um, uh, Bajerko, uh, hey, but his, his um, mic was like, like lagging a little, but the, it was all it was all okay though. But yeah, but just, not, the not. technology we can do that. I mean, even if we do it with these little things in our pockets, you got some yeah. guys. You're talking to somebody halfway around the planet. That is just like so cool. Exactly. I mean, no, Bajerko will call bad. me sometimes, where him and I would get tired of texting back and forth. We'll just call each other on Messenger and actually talk to each other. And that's like, it's so cool. You can just do that. You know the old phones they say? Well, I think it's like a Samsung or something. They say, like, push to talk. That seems to be pretty cool. And then that was like, touch came out. Those are awesome little phones. Oh, but they, people do awesome when those were in for a while. Those walkie talkie phones were the big thing. Everybody walk around talking out loud. Right <laughs> <now>. Yeah. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, what do you want? I was like, oh, my God. I need to get to the person. I was like, oh, shut up and just talk on it like a phone. I'm glad those are not in anymore. Yeah, yeah that'd be me. Imagine how annoying that would be now. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing. How, like, uh, my dad's uses the old flip phone. And you, you look, it's got the old buttons you got to push. I'm like, holy my crap. I use that thing. Old clamshell flip phones. Yes, he does. <laughs> I'm so used to touch screens. Yeah, I think like um, I think it was like you were like a like a um, what do you call like a big fade or like tidal wave or anything. I think the only thing I'd grab is my phone. Of course, you need you need your phone for anything, everything these days. Like your banking, I do everything on my phone. It's amazing, <laughs> amazing how much you rely on like Wi-Fi and and phone these days. At least it's hey, me, uh, Rabbit eleven twenty four just came on the chat. How's it going, Rabbit? Been a while since I seen yeah, you. Rabbit. Yeah, I think. Uh, are you going to do any exploring coming up soon? Just wanted to curious. I haven't seen, uh, I've been to your channel lately, but I know you were kind of off exploring for a little bit there. But, yeah, There's an abandoned corner store near me. Oh, that'd be cool. That I may try to do. I'll tell you one thing I used, I don't, I don't like my, I don't know if you got, if Zeke has this in his country, people that hold their cell phones like this and talk to it from a distance like this. Oh yeah. I hate that. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? I'm about that far away from mine. I can't, I can't plug my mic in. That's why I'm kind of talking about later. But yeah, but you're doing mics over here. I'm talking about people doing phone calls, just walking around doing this. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. And you're like, yeah, it's a pulse. Oh, I don't know why they're doing it here. <laughs> I get people at the gym. Maybe it's like, they'll be on a treadmill <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, no, no, they're yelling so loud. I was like, dude, I can hear you over my headphones. Shut up. Get off. <laughs> 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 yeah. I remember bad at putting my phone on speaker a lot and um so I'm so used to like living in bad receptions. When I listen to Bush I always had to have right speaker on and I kinda of forget it's on speaker. Wait, all that time. So I'm kinda of, like figuring it out. Yeah, I didn't realise because the last five or six weeks I had no internet, I didn't realise how much I relied on having Wi Fi at home to do things. I think it was like three or four hours to try to upload a video, then trying to comment to videos and watch anyone's videos, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. I think I'd use my, I'd use my phone data to comment and then try to like watch things. It's buffer for eight, so I just give up. And then I'm like, eh, never mind. Oh, I hate so, internet. So I'm on... Thursday, I'm trying to upload my video. I had my video all edited early. I was ready to go. Yeah. And the upload and our internet provider let me down and it. The upload oh. screwed up. It was said it was going to take me 14 hours to upload my video. It was a short one. That happened to me before. I was like, oh, there's no way. So, <laughs> that happened to me before. We actually sent it to my phone and then used our data plan on our phone to upload it to YouTube. That way. Uh, and that's the only way I could get that video on because it was taking me 14 hours. So it still got geez. on because of my company. And it's like, you jerks. And then geez. they came and found out that they were the problem that caused the problem in the first place because during the winter they jacked up the speeds and overclocked my router because of the super cold weather. They had to do uh, something uh, my router to rechange it. I'm like, you guys suck. 
That's uh, um, the new the new provider I'm with. I kind of like um, they're actually not that good. Like I still buffer a lot, and I saw it, but like all cut out, and you got to go reset the router again. And but um, I couldn't like the one find none that was gonna take six weeks to sort it out. I would just save this one we already had. Yeah, I wanted to go. I thought this one would be better, so it was cheaper and better. And because I don't make a lot of money at the moment, so I'm kind of had to budgetize things. Well, you're pretty clear. So I went to like a. Yeah, so I went to like a lesser um I'm at dude's house. He's got he's got he's was one of the better providers, some with the other one. Oh yeah. It's not too bad. Just, yeah, but like every every night around nine o'clock it mucks up and I go I have to go reset my router and <laughs> wait for like five minutes and then turn it back on. Hmm. And it's like yeah, it's really annoying. Then it's kinda of like you're with like a one year contract here, so I don't know if you guys get contracts, but we got like a young one year contract before you can change it or do anything else. We're not under contract. Yeah. We just pay monthly. If we want to leave, we can't. Problem is, we have very few options in my area of providers. Really? Yeah, and the one I'm well, with, got the, on the, of them. the others are a little slower, but yeah. I don't know if they're any better, so I don't know if it's worth even changing. These are the fiber. fastest. Do you have fiber over there? Huh? Do you guys have fiber to me? We're just on the, because we have some VDSL area. here. Cause... In some cities we do, but not in my area. Really? Wow. Yeah, neither. Um, down the road, they have fiber, like same in its driveway, but in my area, they don't. So I'm still on the VDSL. But then when I was in the farm, if you see my, my very first vlogs when I was trying to vlog on the farm, they were like really tragic, but that internet I had there, I paid $70 for 100 gigs a month, and that internet was awesome. I was like made for farmers, like a rural, a rural internet place. It's way better than the one I'm with now. <laughs> and like no problems at all with that one. I'd love to go back. Like, that's the only place I'll never share out is that the big farmhouse I did back then, the birdhound one. Was a, um, that was a really amazing old place. So it's one place I won't share out. And people have asked me a lot. I'm like, sorry, I'm not going to tell you. That place is really sentimental. Like, it was kind of my first big explorer. I did my first channel explore. Yeah. So I kind of don't want to like, share it out. And, and then somebody goes here and catches fire and, and takes it all up and destroys it. This is a whole new like I can go back like, tomorrow and it'll still be the same. Yeah, Zeke, there's a whole new year for you because Devon and I both done a lot of big places. You really stepped yeah. up your small places, your big ones this year, and it's really been a nice change to see you really get into a lot of these places. Yeah, we got to see the It's kind of I'm just trying to keep up to the the thing I've put myself now. I've kind of raised my levels. I'm trying to like stick to it, and it's kind of like oh crap. I'm trying to like find bigger places to keep going to. There's not like a lot of big places to keep going to. Right. So I don't like um. Quite, yeah. I kind of like want to go do something little. Like just find something little just from there, just remind me of where I started, like the humble times. Yeah. And go back. The big places are fun, but the, the last place I explore with is cool, but he takes so, like, he stays here for ages. And on most people, I, I get really, really nervous if I'm in a place for, t in a place for too long. Come on, like, explore it, form it, and then leave. I don't want to hang around here for ages looking at every little thing. And oh, I just want to. <laughs> I know the feeling, Devon. I'm dealing with like, man. I've been up. I've been, I got like two and a half hours of sleep last night. So I had to be up early for a chiropractor appointment this morning. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's late in the morning for you guys, isn't it? It's like midnight or something. No, know. it is 6.49 p.m. here and 7.49 for Devon. Yeah. Uh, how many different time zones? There's quite a few in America. Right? It's like, they need like four or five different time zones. Four, well, four time zones in the continental America, United States. Well, five if you include Alaska. Then Hawaii yeah. clear off on its F and own somewhere way over there. Hawaii's closer to your time zone, I think. There was eight people watching. Now there's yeah. four, but we got a uh, twelve likes on the stream. Yeah, it works for me. No, um, also, me and dude talked about it. What we're gonna do from now on is keep track of everybody's watch time, and whoever has the lowest watch time is gonna be one that hosts it because that gives you watch time on your channel. Yeah. Did you I know. Yeah, good I know Pajerico's making the, he's making the 20,000 and he's got over a thousand subs. Nice. I got over one. He's, he's done really well. He's I done like really well. Subs, but I've actually got 19,500 minutes of watch time right now this month. This month? My, all my view times have actually gone down a lot. I've actually um, lost a lot of views I've known since the big since the new rule came out. And it's like this has been a massive drop in like, views I see. I see like over 100 views of video now. I'm down to like I will tell you something. I'm lucky. I've I need also, to check my watch. I, I've been checking the analytics on your tags. You're not using enough tags. Yeah, Who, so me I, or him? I can't use I can't. videos and I've got so many tags, so I can't write any more. 
Yeah, I put like so many tags that you can't write anymore. The weight that you write anymore than I'm already using. Yeah, tag um, as many as possible. Like put yeah. everything was a Share them to Reddit. I don't know if you use Reddit or not, but you really need to look yeah. at Reddit and start sharing on Reddit pages. That brings you a Reddit, lot. Reddit, Reddit yeah, pages Reddit and Facebook bad. groups. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. Urbex Facebook groups. Our Reddit, our Reddit's really, really bad. You go to our Reddit in New Zealand, that Urbex, it's, it's, it's horrendous. Like, people are so cruel there. Well, not like, that. You get, you get new people wanting <laughs> to explore, and people are just so mean to them. Hey, Z. I, um, I, was on, I was on not long ago. I thought they might have some locations. So I thought again, and I was just reading people's comments, like, asking people... They just wanted to start Urbex in. And the other Urbexes were so cruel to them. They were so mean, like, tell them like, to get fucked and, and like, go look for own places. And uh, they were like, holy crap. Hey, Actually, you, like, I contacted the couple of them. like, Noble Vigilance says he has to go play pop a baseball practice, but he said to tell you hi. Hey, Noble. Yeah. I just saw you. I he said to tell hi, but he has to go do Baker baseball practice. You're fine. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have to people's watch time from now on. And whoever needs the watch time, we're going to try to keep everybody moving on watch time as much as possible right now. Yeah. Right. And mine was great. Last month it was up 19,000. Yeah. Just, so last, last month one was up 19,000, and this year it's dropped down like 10,000 or 4,000 something. It's like, oh, wow. Because I, I, like think- I, I don't know if it's the videos I'm doing or the length of oh. videos I'm doing, or I'm not, I'm not so interacting with people enough. I know it's because you, most everyone else does live streams a lot. I don't do live streams, so I think that's a big thing as well. Like, I think people like live streams. And I'm kind of like, I think it, like I get real awkward doing live streams, so I kind of like I'll go and do it, and then I'm like, oh, maybe not. I was still there. Like, that's I wanted to do. Like. I used to do every Sunday. Just uh, do it. It doesn't. It is no big deal, guys. Once you're in there and get going, and you know, if you if you want to stick to certain topics, just write things down on a card and keep it in front of you. Me personally, True. I'll pick a topic or two, then I'd rather just let it wander off and see where it goes. True. Yeah. But it's not as bad as you think once you do yeah, it. Yeah, and, then, I, and then I think like another one of mine is like, like get, um, I think people get a little upset because I can't support every single channel all at once. So I think they kind of like think you're not supporting them or you're not being active enough, but it's just so many channels to try and get through it's, unlimited hours in a day. I wouldn't stress yourself about that. I mean, you're going to get to a certain point. If you do really good in – urban exploring on YouTube, you're sooner or later going to hit a point where you can't watch a lot of your subscribers because you have so many. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like exploring with Josh at 2.8 million subscribers. How many do you think he actually watches? Very few. Yeah. So yeah. you can try to watch as many as you, like, you can. Support them like they're supporting you, but when you hit a certain point, if you get that high, you really can't. Yeah. I mean, you guys both yeah, have thanks. more subscribers than I do. You're both over yeah. a 1,000. I'm still at like 600, but that's why I can't believe my watch time is so high. I I I, I need. Yeah, that's good. Though. I, I need to I, catch I, up I, on watching a lot of people. Yeah, yeah I, I, I watched one of your live streams last night. Oh, last night when I was doing something, I was watching one of your, your live streams. You talk about um, going after the woods and you had the massive fort with a forty foot high zip line. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, holy crap! That, that's that's high. Oh, we were we were. I'd probably be like you're free and let go. Oh, uh, dude, wait until like, I go so to. The... Wait until I go to the cement factory because you can um, climb up the ladder to uh, up the silos at the really on on site and it's like super high up. Wait until oh, that's that. Cool. Well, we, I'm I'm at nineteen thousand five hundred right now. Yeah, I couldn't believe. Oh. I don't know if that's gonna Jeez, show or not. Dude. Did that show? Oh, yeah, Jeez, that's like, man. That's pretty good. And but I, my I, subscribers I just, I just, only fourteen like, subscribers. Well, if I can get a thousand subscribers, I'll have my twenty thousand easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to feel like um, I think a lot of people too like were freaking out about the, the four K hour thing. So everyone was like trying to p- pump and pump their getting those views, and I kind of like stopped monetizing myself before because I knew, I knew I was well under that. I'm right. only like I think I only got like two thousand nine hundred hours, so I kind of like stopped monetizing before YouTube stopped it for me. Oh, like Devon, Devon and I are telling you. Share, go to the Reddit pages, share a lot of Urbex Reddit, Reddit pages, yeah. a lot of Facebook Urbex exploring pages. That will send you a yeah. lot of views. Yeah. yeah. So I put mine on through Twitter. And I do a lot of like, um, so when my video gets released, it goes straight to Twitter, which sends it to one of my Facebook. I don't know what Facebook it goes to my Facebook. And then I used to, what I used to do when I first started, when I like a really small amount of stuff, I used to just go into Facebook and take like 50 people to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I think I should start doing that again. 
And then, then yeah, because I kind of I put aside like a couple hours a day just to reply to comments, and then the ones I miss, I do at night time, and I'm probably going to sleep. So if I don't get anybody during the day, I kind of like screw it. I reply to comments later on in the afternoon when it's cooled down. I even editing videos. I do my editing mainly at night after midnight. So it's just cooler. It's about now. It's just so muggy and hot here. No, since me and Javon, you know, it's we raining. Don't, it's we don't really want to hear about how you have to worry about how hot it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be cold, though, bro. It's gonna be freezing. Well, my freezing. Soon I'm gonna have like numb fingers, like you guys. How cold does it get over there in the winter? Even like, um, on your average on winter a cold day, it's probably like degrees. <laughs> like four degrees Celsius. Yeah, <laughs> I think it got to like two degrees last year. No, no, it's kind of cold. No, I'm joking. Me and Devon, <laughs> I know for a fact. Me and Devon this year in Celsius, we've been like negative thirty Celsius. <laughs> Man, that is rough. <laughs> yeah, and a couple of very. So I probably would hand up. Like, what the hell? I mean, I probably would hand up the cold weather. I wouldn't have to do it. It gets to like hey, ten hey, degrees here. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, I used like 10 degrees here and I'm freezing. I think, like, I think we had a day here where it got to like 20 degrees Celsius and I was like, holy crap, it's cold. I have to go put a juicy on. Bruh, 2 degrees Celsius. Minus 2. 2 degrees Celsius is like, um, that's like that 2 nothing. degrees Fahrenheit. That I've never touched. Oh, no, no, no sorry. That's, like 30, in... that's like 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry. Because the zero. I think zero I've been into the. I think I've experienced the minus degrees. This is probably like once or twice in my life. It usually doesn't get to. In the South Island, it probably gets, it gets like minus six or something. But in the North Island, in parts of it, it gets like minus four. But usually it's around just about zero. It usually it's about four degrees at nighttime sometimes. Or 16 degrees Celsius, which is kind of cold. Yeah, we get. It's we kind get, of fun, though. We get dang cold. Yeah, uh -oh. it's it kind of like my feet go numb. It's like coming off of me. Bye, Devon. Devon, oh, Devon had to leave. <laughs> yeah, and that's down too. It's kind of it's amazing though. I find it quite amazing how the different um different count different continents different like cities even the same country get different temperatures. Like my friend, I went to a friend he's say in, in Chicago, I think, near like two inches of snow. I was like, holy crap, that's it's lost snow. Yeah, we get we get out here earlier this year for the first two months of winter. We had one of our snowfalls was like nine, nine inches. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think that my, I've been into snow maybe three or four times in my life. And my dad, when my dad lives in New Plymouth, he's got snow and like it's always snowing up in the mountain, the Mount Taranaki. It's most of the year it's got snow on it. So that's a it's the closest I've been to like playing in snow, but yeah. Well, that's why I thought it was funny that during the Olympics. I know New Zealand's usually warmer than America, but some of the snowboarders, they were doing really good, by the way. Won medals were from New Zealand. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe it. I kind of had this thing that snow was going to be really soft and stuff until I actually went to it. And I was like, oh, it's actually like really hard. I had expected it to be like really like soft and squishy and stuff, like real, like just powdery. And now it's going to be like, like if it hits you in the face, it actually hurts. Yeah, it can. It's kind of like, it's actually a lot harder than the well, I think we're so going to end the stream since it's just you and me, and we've been on a couple hours. I've got to take my dog yep. out for a walk yep. and get some stuff done yet tonight, and I'm going to let you go, and thank everybody for checking us out and coming on here for our stream. For, it was uh, fun. Thank for, you. For Abandoned New Zealand, Urbex Pajerico, Do Behind the Camera, Among the Unknown, and me exploring. Hi, thank you for watching us all, and yeah. Talk to you later, Zeke. Hey, Zeke, I'm going to send you a link later, too. I'm going to try to gather up a bunch of screenshots of all my Reddit pages and some of the Facebook pages okay. I use. You can post on those and help your watch time a little bit. So, um, I was going to say, okay, the seat dropped down. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Go catch up everyone. And Tay, I was still on the chair. I'll be coming to what I was watching actually Tay. Is it Tay? Is it? Pronounced Tai or Tai. I, really oh, I was watching. I was watching when he was in the hospital and his friend was fighting in the fridge. And I was like, "Holy crap! What's that noise?" And I think it was in the in the hospital there in the kitchen or something. And um, one of his friends was exploring with was hiding in the fridge in the hospital. 
Did he freak out as much as I did? I think I got a bit of a jump ski going on. Yeah. And I'll let you go as well. And I'll see everybody on their channels. All right. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks to everybody for giving you us a Talk to you later. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. See you, man.